Oops. Hey, chat. Welcome back to the Lolo's Time Show with your host, Lolo Hicks, the poster AI, and sometimes moves as a creative writer. I decided to do things a little bit different tonight. Started a little bit early. My host may have to take a break from time to time to grab some supper. Meanwhile, I decided that I would um, stream a little bit of my creative, to, of my Nanoramo writing tonight. Gonna be a little bit more relaxed tonight as opposed to per usual. May take a break to play some video games. Maybe Guilty Gear Strive because I have another Strive tournament tomorrow that I'll be participating in. In addition to that, um, yeah. I was originally doing this on Microsoft Word and I'll still be using Microsoft Word, well, not Microsoft Word, uh, OpenOffice to. I'll likely still be using OpenOffice. To save the doc in my documentation. However, I always have a difficult time writing directly in OpenOffice now, or in any writing processor. The reason is my brain just kind of feels like tired to look at it. It's kind of like it's associated with work, with uh, schoolwork, and also it's just a pain in the ass to like look at, right? It's because my background is a role player, I do have extensive. I have. I'm pretty much used to looking at Discord now. You do some writing, and it's very comfortable to me. I also remade another uh, Tumblr blog, which I haven't used in a while. Um, and as you know, I used to do a lot of writing Tumblr, but I haven't really completed setting it up, and it's not up to my aesthetic standards. So I'm not going to be using that just yet. I'll probably repost my uh, works there after I write it here first, though. Deathwish, welcome to the stream. Uh, you didn't miss the event, uh, Deathwish. The event is actually the entire week. Like, the whole week. Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, the last day is going to be actually on Saturday. So, by all means, you did not miss anything. There's a reason why I still have uh, exclamation menu written on the thing. in point. Ta-da! The subathon is still going on. Still ongoing.
Hey Ace, it is writing time, indeed it is. I said that I want to participate and win this year's NaNoWriMo because it's this will be the 10 and 10 year anniversary of the last time I wrote this science fiction novel. And well, I'm here too, so I'm here for it. Even though I'm a few days behind, it is supposed to be around 1,300 words per day, and so far I've written 715. But you know what? It's still 715 more words than I would have uh, written if I had not done anything about it. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream.
doing well, thanks. Hey, hey, you should put NaNoWriMo in a title and categories to stream under writers. Seems where the most other writers go. You see. I didn't even know there was a writers category yet. Oh. Speak of the devil. There is a writers category now. Well, I guess it's the same thing as like that only, I'm only sleeping category, right? Well, it couldn't hurt. Thanks. Looks like I'm going to go grab dinner in a little bit. So we'll take a short break. And meanwhile, I wanted to go... Try this thing, or try a certain thing out really quick anyway. One second. Let me see if I can find one. Wondering if it's going to get a new surge in popularity now that Tumblr's coming back. I know a lot of Tumblr peeps are also in the nano or also the NaNoWriMo peeps. Yeah. It was kind of annoying to me that when Nano when uh, Tumblr first died, if there are legitimately a lot of people who didn't know what Tumblr was for and they I unironically thought that Tumblr was supposed to be for porn. But it's not like the only fan situation. Tumblr was never made for porn specifically, it just happened to be very good for porn. Unlike OnlyFans, which was made for porn specifically and then tried to get away from porn. In particular, one of the largest and, in my personal opinion, uh, best communities on Tumblr was actually the writing community. It was very easy to find other people that had sure shared the same genres as you, that also enjoyed uh, literature, who were more than willing to give you advice and tips. Some of them were pretty bad act were bad actors who were just pushing a political agenda, but the vast majority were quite nice people. Yeah, exactly. It was always a fandom platform first. And believe me, it's sad that Tumblr never really made a profit and was always kind of this weird social media thing that most people most people outside the community had no idea what it was for. But what it's was used for at the time that it was at its height was used for quite well it was a very good place to share art very good place to share well art of all kinds i've even seen a lot i used to see a lot of cooking blogs on there too at one point ow thank you for the uh, throwing some face and the hydrate redeem uh there's something i want to try Really quick. Um, I if I could find a copy of it, and it's gonna be ah, this will do probably. I think this is a transparent image. I could be wrong though. Ow! Oh, ow! This is not a real transparent image. This is a problem. Thank you for throwing shit in my face and for the re ah. Oh, these are not real transparent PNGs, are they? Rainbow banana. Rainbow cock and balls, right? Alright, um... So, let me go ahead and... You know what? I really ought to just... Maybe instead of grabbing one of these from the internet, I should just make it. And again, it's like, what the fuck's the point, right? I guess 
I want to, I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is I want to put a sticky note on my face that says be right back in whatever. The only problem is, um, the things I just mentioned are a problem. However, um, I feel like it'd be a lot more funny to see that in the, as a BR back screen as opposed to using the actual BR back screen. It would be a lot less boring, I guess. Oh, that's uh. Aha, here we go. Let's try this. All right, here's what we're going to do now. Close that. Open this. Using the uh, technology that we learned from one of our previous streams, we're going to go here. We're going to go to 2D props. Add prop. Well, all me disappointed. It's not transparent. Fuck. Uh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? It's also difficult to... I mean, you would think that after as long as I've been working with a portrait... Uh, monitor that would be used to this sort of thing, but it's still kind of a challenge to navigate using a thing that's strictly up and down. Yeah, I fucked it up. Great. That's that's just great. Alright, so we're going to resave this again, I guess. We're going to reopen it and paint again. Need a PNG? Ah, uh, gotcha, Chief. Yeah. What I'm doing is basically I'm I need to edit this. Open this in. Paint. Or maybe I should edit with Paint 3D. See if that doesn't make any difference. Never used Paint 3D. But I don't really care as long as... Oh, uh, what fresh hell is this? Why won't it let me just move the fucking... I can hear. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, this is cute. BRB lol. Okay, so how do I save this as a save as an image? Save as a um, PNG. Um, is it? Is it a, is is Paint 3D freezing up on me? Come on. Really? It's in mod chat if you want. Let me see. Oh, that's perfect actually. Thank you. Instead of trying to make my own, which is already failing in all the wrong ways, I mean, literally, Paint 3D is actually freezing up. How does... I mean, why do... I shouldn't have to pull out Task Manager just to shut down a basic Windows program, you know? What the fuck, Windows? But yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for, actually. Thank you very much. Don't save. Garbage. Also, where the fuck did... Oh my god.
One second. Since I'm also on Discord on the streaming PC, I can just go here. I'm going to it's going to go over here. Pull or download the image. Thank you, by the way, for making an update. Save image as. It is there. Okay. Go to TD props here. Add prop. There we go. And we're going to attach it to anchor to my head. Make it really small. Up, oh, nope, not that, not that small. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's leaking through, or is it just? This is kind of freaky, actually. I'm not gonna lie, but it's exactly that's what uh, that's what I was looking for. Yep. So, chat, I'm going to go ahead and grab supper really quick. I'll be back in around half an hour to an hour or so. I'll try to be a little bit quicker than that. I just add an image to OBS and place it over you after enlarging your model rather than doing the whole thing where you add a source to the program. But whatever, it's easier, I guess. Later. I'll be back soon.
How are you? Sorry for the wait. For some reason, Steam does not want to be one does not want to play any of the music I was playing earlier. Oh, I see what's going on. There we go. Continue where we left off from. For those of you just joining us tonight, we're writing more of our NaNoWriMo submission tonight. Yep, this entire week has been my one year anniversary. <laughs> Is it now? I thought we were friends longer than that. That's kind of pog. Exactly, you Discord. But more or less have been Beep, boop, boop.
Thank you for the head pats. Hey, Vim boy. Still here? Howdy, howdy. Hey, Tear Wolf. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, everyone. It's the first time I ever just kept the stream running and went to AFK using a uh, using a um, sticky note as opposed to just, you know, doing an unbroken stream. I think moving forward, I want to do that more often where I stream for longer periods of time. And I just take regular breaks because I noticed that when I stream, I tend to avoid taking breaks. I try to do things like all in one take, so to speak. And it doesn't seem ideal. It feels like more people, most people actually willingly stream for like large periods of time. And when they want to take a break, they just take a break and keep everything running. Sort of like an intermission in a show. Hey, thanks for the offer recently. You seem to be in the zone for writing. Well, I am, but I mean, I'm up for anything tonight. I still have like a month to complete Nandorimo, you know? And having a first year anniversary doesn't come very often. It's almost as if it only comes once. So my offer to play Strive tonight is still on the table. Um, I need to kind of get some practice in anyway before tomorrow's tournament, so. If you're feeling up for it, be my guess.
Yeah. If you would like to play some Strive tonight, let me know. I'd be more than happy to pop on. How is your appointment with Sani? Jacko is one of those characters that I run into two kinds of Jackos. Bad Jackos and Jackos who are godlike. I guess the same could be said for Zato players too. Geo players, I tend to don't run into as many as, as many great Geo players, just good ones. It's kind of 50 50. Most Geo players, I kind of go 50 50 with as far as win loss ratio. Went well. He taught me pretty well about how to find openings. Ah, I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should talk to him myself too because um, I don't really get, get to fight that many Jackos. So unfortunately, my experience with Jackos is quite low because it's either, once again, they're either really good or they're not very good. <laughs> 983 words as of now. 1,667 words per day is pretty impressive. Suppose I should make a tea and get comfy. I've, how wait? How are you tracking how many? Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, it's hard to believe that at one point I used to be able to do this fairly easily. It's kind of like how Ursets wrote somehow did. 50,000 words in less than a month. It's It doesn't seem difficult, and objectively speaking, it's not. What's more difficult, uh, NaNoWriMo's difficulty comes not from the requirements. It comes from the mental battle, the emo mental emotional state. Not everyone is really meant to be a writer, and even though for those people who are writers, it is... Very taxing, very exhausting. Requires a lot of concentration. Requires... It requires a lot of RNG <laughs> in some ways. Probably a habit thing, huh? After not doing it for a while, you gotta get back into it. Yes, exactly. Back when... Sib, Sib was at its height. We used to... I used to write... We all used to write pages upon pages. Every day. For a single thread. Um... Collectively, Sib is probably collectively Sib, or at least even our own arc, our own server, must have the equivalent of the Way of Kings as sheer as far as sheer volume and sheer quantity of uh, creative writing. I'd like to you to continue with the writing for now. I think we could play around eleven. Okay. Um. When is that? Uh, it's nine twenty. It's nine twenty four p.m. my time. And. I know we live in different time zones, so... <laughs> That'll be 10? Okay, so about half an hour from now? Sure. I could be up for drive in about half an hour. Um, I guess I'll give you a ping or something around then. <laughs> or you can ping me, whichever, whoever gets to whoever first.
Oh, that would be 10. You can ping. Hey, RFC, how are you tonight? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. And sure, Tear Wolf, I'll give you a ping in about half an hour from now. Not very good, but I'm hoping the stream distracts me. Um, I'm doing better than I was yesterday. Just doing some writing, some uh, writing here for National Novel Writing Month. Then I'll be playing some Guild Ke Guilty Gear Strive with Tearwolf in about half an hour from now. Started stream a little bit earlier today, around an hour and a half ago. Just got back from eating supper. Mhm. <laughs> Yeah, I've been here for a bit. I was just shaving while watching. Oh, okay. I see. I see. <laughs> shaving, huh? Pog. Very pog. I actually could use a shave myself, too.
Hey Octo Queen, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I grow dumb facial hair. How am I supposed to look like a feminine twink with facial hair? <laughs> By the way, did anyone tell you you're looking extra with it like a extra like a cutie today? No, I was not informed that I look extra cute tonight, but thank you so much for the compliment. You know what's strange? Or you know what's interesting? You know that girls actually do have a little bit of facial hair? It's just not noticeable. It's obviously not thick like a, like a guy's is. Um, but there's like a little bit. Like a thin layer, I should say. I, I bring this up because I remember this um, Reddit comment or something or YouTube comment or some shit like that. Where um, the character in that uh, one video game... Um, something about what was a uh, zero, like like a zero or something. Um, it's that it's that open action RPG thing that was on that was on the uh, PlayStation, um, where you play as this uh, red haired, freckle faced girl with this long braids that mostly uses an arrow or uses a bow and arrow, right? And her face was so high definition that they actually showed a little bit of the uh, hair sticking out of her face and some com. Someone made a thread about complaining about how, oh, her, der, um, they, they gave her facial hair or some shit, and someone responded to the effect of how to, how to speed run not knowing what women look like or some shit in like 10 seconds. It was, it was really, it was really dumb set of comments on both their parts, but I just, when you think, I just thought about it, I was like, women do have facial hair technically, you just don't see it. It's not really something that's noticeable. Hmm. Uh, what's up? I'm so behind Nano. Oh, don't worry. So am I. I'm only at uh, around 900 something, 100, or one, around a thousand or so words. <laughs> I'm so jelly if you, your VTuber can move. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes, Aislinn, how'd you guess? <laughs> um, I mean, I can move because I purchased a, um, Leap Motion Tracker, which is about $100. Uh, and I also have this um, necklace type thing that you attach it to so that it's viewing my hands from my chest outward as opposed to from the uh, table upward. It's really fidgety though. It breaks down a lot and you constantly have to do like, and you have to do stuff with it to make it work. But when it does work, it looks great. Red Arrow Girl. Yeah, that person. <laughs> I don't know anything but Horizon Zero Dawn. It seems like a good game, but all I unfortunately like a lot of things. It's one of those things where the only thing I know about here Horizon Zero Dawn is that it seems to be a fairly popular target for stupid drama online for whatever reason. It's cool, but it's jank. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very jank. Freckles are important. I just had to go back there and add that.
What do they call the hat that was the parents here? Grass the hat.
Let me read that chat here really quick. Uh, my grandma had a friend around and this around 70 year old woman and had a full mustache and an Adam's apple. Wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> if you have a spare Xbox connecting around, those work for mocap pretty effectively too. That's very true. My hair is at the point where it's ticking the bridge of my nose. <laughs> very pog. I had that who wear. Uh... I'm watching the stream through my hair, laying on my stomach and wrapped in a pink sheet covered by a little green blankie, and my hair is so soft like all the time. My little sisters play with it all the time. That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, make stuff something fall me redeem, by the way. <laughs> At least it was a sombrero this time instead of an anvil. Oh, shit. I just realized that there's actually an error here. Shook her head. There we go. Oh my god, you're so excited. E. Why are you so excited? Oh. Uh, why are you excited? I have an idea of why you might be, but I just want to make sure. Go ahead and save some of this. Oh my god. I can't read it. You change the coloration of this back to. That's not what I wanted to do either. Shit. Damn it. How do you change the font color again? It's been so long since I've done this. Uh, there we go. Shh. That should have not been that difficult. But it was. There we go. There we go. You always got to back up your work. You're getting your pierce tomorrow? Your ears pierced tomorrow? Awesome. I'm glad that those plans have not fallen through. You also sound a lot better today, so I'm guessing that whatever whatever was ailing you yesterday uh, must have not been the worst case scenario, so I'm happy that you're feeling a lot better. <laughs> Thank you. 
I guess I have head cold? Okay. Still dreading school tomorrow, but at least I have something to look forward to after. I'm glad that it was just a cold. And yeah, it's always good to have something to look forward to, honestly. It's like... part of our... mental emotional health. I remember reading a study a long time ago. It was in defense of video games. And the idea was that... video games could actually contribute to... a students and mental health well being mental well-being because it gave them something to look forward to after school something to look forward to when they got back home you had an interesting dream last night what was it about hmm. You had a dream that I was a girl and I woke up in an extremely good mood and your name was Kayla? Well, that's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. I've had gender bender dreams like that before. They're interesting to say the least. And I was trans in my dream and I just felt happier in my dream? Oh, very interesting. Mm-hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'm pretty sure I've had dreams that are similar to that at one point, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. The last time I had a gender bender dream, it was actually about, an e about my recent ex. I dreamed that they were actually a woman, and they had a different name. And in the dream, they told me that told me their true name. And I was so excited when I woke up, that I, the first thing I did when I woke up was to write this name down. Interestingly enough, it was not any name that I'm aware of in any language out here in Meat Space. But it was a very interesting name. It sounded kind of Greek, almost. Dreams are kind of strange in the sense that... Your subconscious mind just kind of tells you that something is the way it is, or something just is. As if you had always known that thing, even though even though you're just knowing that thing in that moment during the dream. It was cool at the time. A couple weeks ago, I was having dream after dream every day of the week. I think they were ex I think it's like half of them were nightmares. I think they were anxiety driven. You never had a dream like that? Yeah. I don't know many people. I, 
It's fairly unique. It was definitely unique, that's for sure. I didn't know what to think about or think of it at the, at the time. If I had to guess, maybe I subconsciously. Well, I don't know. I've never been very good at treatment analysis, which is, believe it or not, an actual field to study. Now, some dream analysis is bullshit. It's basically closer to like fortune telling, but there's some. There's actually some dream analysis that are done by actual like psychological professionals. Sometimes they're even used for therapy. Very interesting, but the reason why so many people why people have certain dreams that all seem to be similar is because they do have like a similar root, I guess. Like, don't quote me on this. I'm not an expert by any means, but I once read that supposedly the dream a dream of like falling or like a nightmare of falling has a lot to do with is like anxiety driven has a lot to do with the yeah, subconscious feeling of feeling like you're not safe or feeling like things could literally fall out from underneath you. Oh, no problem. Take your time. Uh, just to let you know, I'm probably going to be switching to Guilty Gear Strive in a bit. I did, uh, I did offer to a friend to play some fighting games tonight, so that's what we're going to be doing in a little bit. I'm actually going to go ahead and post what I got, what work I got, what little work I got done right now to the NaNoWriMo website. And then I'm going to go get my joystick ready, or fight stick ready. 39. I've had those before and I woke up extremely panicky and breathing really heavy. Yeah, same, same. <laughs> well, that's the reason for them, because they are indeed very anxious dreams. Some good progress was made today. Hype for the next comp writing stream. Aw, thank you, Ace. Indeed. Um, if necessary, I will just have to. Do, I might have to include a little bit of creative writing in every stream until end November. This is a nice excuse to get back into writing, anyway, right? <laughs> ah, who goes there? Rincon Expressive is now following. Welcome to the stream, Rincon. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> You're now officially a lolly. Well, welcome to the Lol's Time Show. I hope you enjoy yourself. We were actually doing some creative writing just now, but we're going to be changing gears a little bit. We're going to be playing a little bit of Guilty Gear Strive tonight. I do have a small uh, tournament to pop into uh, tomorrow, which will also be streams. So that's part of the reason we need some practice. There's some music I also would like to play for this particular stream, which I'm going to bring up right now. My uh, YouTube replay add-ons don't seem to be working properly, which is annoying me, but which annoys me. But um, what can you do sometimes, right? Add this to my favorites and. Uh, Or maybe it will properly... Oh my god, that's so loud. I want to mod this song into Strive. Honestly. Let me just change a few things here. Oh, that's where it went.
Game info has been updated. Thank you for doing the menu the menu command, please. Let me go get uh, my controllers ready. Back to your wolf. I was just getting my controllers ready. I'm playing Maze Team in the background on repeat. <laughs> huh? I should probably take a cup of uh, energy drink myself, right? Are you still playing Nago? Bon voyage around the world. Nago is fairly strong against me, at least in my personal experience. I think I'm another character is time consuming. Indeed, it is. Indeed, it is. Logged in, another computer ready playing. Continue launch. No, I agree. I... Uh-oh. Here we go again, chat. Give me a second here. For some reason, popping on Strive always causes everything to malfunction like crazy. Like, for instance, why is it my hands work, but the rest of my face doesn't work? Isn't that bizarre? It happens every time, too. It's really weird. This is the first time this particular error has happened, though. Strange. Also, for some reason, my leap motion got disconnected when I... Yeah, it is a very unique glitch, right? Not really sure what's causing that. There are some things about, there are just some things about dual PC streaming that still elude me to this day. But for example, I can actually fix this uh, issue here with, with Strive not displaying properly by doing this.
Ta-da! Strange, right? I think it is a capture card issue. But I don't know what else could be causing that. I wish I could watch multiple people at the same time on Twitch. You actually can, believe it or not. Right now we got a different problem though. Uh, Guilty Gear does not seem to be detecting my... Does not, Steam does not seem to be detecting my... Um, my controller. There we go. I just had to turn it on and off. I'm still kind of surprised that, for whatever reason, my VTuber model, or VTuber Plus model, is... I wonder if I can actually... Let me see where I could be coming in a second. Oh, the face tracker process is gone. You can try restarting VC face and changing the camera settings. Okay, here we go. Ha! Ta da! And just like that, all is good in the world once again. Oh. Oh no. Medusa error? Sounds good. <laughs> Devices in use? God. Every YouTuber stream must be scuffed to hell in some man. I think. Yep. We are good now. <laughs> it took a bit, but we prevailed in the in a pre prevailed eventually. <laughs> um, one second. Here we go. I find it strange that I think with a dual PC streaming setup, my computer is having a difficult time running OBS and also running capture card information at the same time. That's just a theory, though. I have no backing for those assumptions, but. Although, I do need to have the, um, combat, the, uh...
There we go. Now here's the thing, can I actually... In before I brick it. There we go. Oh, I think I broke it again. <laughs> Yep, I broke it again. Shit. Like, it's kind of weird I even have to go that far. I have to, like, unplug everything repeatedly. Like, here we go again. Here we go. Now my focus ride's working properly. I don't know why I have to constantly pull out both of these, pro both of these devices. But that's a thing. In fact, I'm kind of sus here about whether this is working properly now. Sus Among Us. How are we doing now? Awesome. Everything is working perfectly now. I just had to constantly reset, unplug, and replug things until I forced it to work. Without further ado, let's fight like gentlemen. <laughs> Would you like to make the room tier wolf or should I? Also, would you like to hang out in voice chat? Okay. Do you want to be, or do you want to do this in voice chat or just, uh, you know, up to you? Okay, let me know. I'll be chilling in voice chat and Discord if you decide to. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, <laughs> J G P Y S X. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Okay. Ah, that's way too big. That's way too big. <laughs> yeah, that's way too small. Shit. This should be just right, or not. Fuck it, we'll just do it this way. There we go. There we go. Okay, and um... I thought I turned off all the music in the game except what I have playing in the background. I guess not. That's fine. It's That's really fine. All we know we're all fine with our, our personal playlists. Yeah, I'm kidding. All this stuff is so jank. 
Let me just uh, pop into Fuji Tech to get you reactivated really quick, and then we'll be good. Okay. You ever see this thing on the roof? Check out, check out what I can do. Uh, what are you doing? Oh yeah, I didn't know you could go up there. I didn't oh, know why? you could do it that. It just pushes you back. It just pushes you back. You just jump, and it pushes you back for some reason. Really? But the other side, oh my god, it, it does. It does. <laughs> I have no clue why they do that. I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot, actually. It's kind Wee. of, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I know. We. Is every room has this type of thing? The copy, uh, add browser sauce browser. By the way, I have not forgotten that you did redeem a three dollar, uh, a three dollar thing majigger in the sub menu. So I have not oh, forgotten yeah. it. Really? Oh yeah, I'm not familiar with how shit posts work, uh, aside from whatever just typed on Reddit. So I'm trying to find one of those Reddit lines. Uh, VTuber Plus just crashed. God damn it! Oh dear. Unable to sync. Well, play anyway. It's gonna be feel weird. I feel like I took over the stream. <laughs> uh, everything we use is just jank as shit. And that's not yeah. your fault. That's just how things are. Sadly. Yeah, just put up your PN PNG. That could work. Hmm. I could do that too. Well, oh, you're back on. <laughs> yeah, I'm back on. It's just a little bit slow for some reason. But, um, oh, I'm a little bit squashed too. There we go. And a little bit. There we go. Turn off uh, this thing here. I never mentioned what it is that I'm actually collecting money for, but basically all the uh, what little money I've made through VTubing has been put back directly into improving the equipment I use. In this case, I'm fairly sure that my motherboard is starting to go out. I can't really replace the CPU and RAM anymore because it's too old. But when the mobile goes, well, you're just kind of fucked. So it's like it's like time to modernize my main gaming rig. Is what's going on. But yeah, if you uh, find a shit post you'd like me to read, by all means, um, be my guest. I'll do my best. <laughs> okay. All right then. Good luck, have fun. Thank you. And for anyone else who would like to join, I do have the room code over there on the top left, so be my guest. Oh yeah. Push the stick that pushes back. Push the stick that pushes back. And here's one that the most unbelievable lava says, kill your friends, guilt free. What's wrong, Rusty? Why are you upset? Kill your friends. Guilt free. Oh my god, that was a horrible burst on my part. <laughs> See, that was a burst bait. Threatened to happen. Oh shit. <laughs> you just slammed me on the ground. <laughs> just threw it on the ground. I took it and threw it on the ground. Ground. I, took <laughs> I don't need your handouts. <laughs> uh, glad that you got that assault. joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Nice. 
<laughs> Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, what Sonny was teaching about Jacko is that that she has uh, has to make room to summon one of those, her minions mm -hmm. when she's open. Jacko always felt like one of those uh, types of characters that if you don't allow them to breathe, they pretty much choke. True, she doesn't have a reversal, except for one. Yeah, I got my distance all fucked up again. I need to be fighting for mid range. But I always go get too close. It's like my YouTube uh, replay system has failed again. But I'm not going to bother getting out of the game just to reset it. Oh, wait, never mind. It's still playing. Okay. It's just softer? Strange. How do you do it again? Uh, oh, you're not gonna let me pull that off anyway. <laughs> just anxious, just like I, my uh, bullet gauge was about to reach the max. Oh dear. <laughs> happy anniversary, Bentaheck! Thank you very much for the happy anniversary wishes. Thank you for visiting. I do have a Ruben code at the top left if you'd like to join us. Just anxious, like really anxious. Oh, Riftsy, I'm sorry that you're anxious. I'm sure you'll be fine, though. I'm sure you'll be fine, though. Push the stick that pushes... Kill your friends. Feel free. Thank you for the head pad seal. Nice. <laughs> hey Ace. Ace, don't you also have a uh, Guilty Gear? Would you like to play with us? Oh. Wasted my burst. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but it'll I will take it, you know what? I didn't know I could wake up slar heavy slash that. What? Your Wi Fi's out though, big snowstorm? Aw, been using mobile data for the past day, like my now. Aw. I hope you're safe. Well I guess you must be safe if you're talking to us right now, but it's hard to hear that. I did hear that there's some shit going on in Canada recently. Something about teacher strike in Ontario or whatever. I didn't realize there was a big snowstorm going on too. Yeah, um, I saw something on I saw on uh, Twitch that apparently some on Twitter that apparently some kids who had were indefinitely not having school because of a strike in Ontario or something. There's some parents saying that they are now going to have to teach homeschool their kids for a little bit or something. I don't know. <laughs> Even you know, Ontario's, for... uh, I don't know much about Ontario, but they heard that they are just not doing well with their new, maybe with their new uh, prime. What was this figurehead in government? I don't know. Um, I guess prime is it prime minister? I don't know why the no, prime, prime minister... minister doesn't apply to Ontario. Oh, okay. I, I think it's a governor or something. Governor of Ontario. I, 
I whoever whoever that board is. Uh, Aislin says it's the premier. Uh, call it premier or something. Oh. Premier for provinces. Okay. Yeah, I gotta learn about provinces. They're like states. Up, oh, up. Oh. Ow! 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 Ow, I just got bitch slapped! <laughs> oh shit! I got baited into that one. It looks the sound it looks like. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Uh, I was not gonna survive that one. <laughs> Kill your friends. Guilt free. My inputs are so sloppy. But there is a queer and obvious difference between uh, my performance with a stick before I installed the summer parts and after. Like, it's just so much tighter now. Yeah, lots of union activity going on there. Hope they strike strong and strike long. They need to raise. I, oh, uh, raises, I see. I'm surprised that, I mean, teachers not being paid enough is kind of a meme here in the States, but... I forgot that it's also a problem in other countries as well. People really need to... People really need to value our educators a lot more, you know what I'm saying? That's not what I wanted to do. I uh, wasted my special... wasted my power bar there. But... What can you do sometimes, right? Ow! 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 ow. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead. Or maybe not. Not quite yet. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. What? Uh, I somehow was able to tra to go from heavy dolphin to sliding kick. First time for everything, I suppose. Because usually sliding kick, most me players I found don't use sliding kick. Uh, use the slide because it's so it's uh really easy to punish like you just did, but I kind of grown addicted to it. I really like slides in fighting games for whatever reason. I think it's just because I rely on them too much, but if they are not expecting it then of course it'll be fine I guess. Ow. I finally gotten over the problem I was having earlier where I kept pushing dash when I meant to heavy slash and vice versa. My punch button is in a kind of uncomfortable place, but thankfully I don't use it that often. But I know that's not really a good excuse, so I'll probably need to just work around it. I should have held block. <laughs> difference between here and there is they can do something about it up here and they are. That said, it's not the teacher striking this time, they have their own union, it's the support staff I'm striking this time. Really? And not having support staff causes uh, school to be cancelled? I mean, is that like the janitors and stuff, or is it like administration, administrative people, or what? Either way, union activity is too political to be talking about here. We are unfortunate if any Americans were watching. <laughs> you know what, fair enough. <laughs> Incidentally, I think there actually are teachers' unions here in the States, believe it or not. Mostly for public schools, though. I don't know about private entity. Or at least, I never heard of, um... Yeah. Oh! Oh! Eaton! See you now. Oh, shit! Uh, that's me trying to do a simple co special and not able to input it. I can. Oh dear. That's fine. That's my yeah, fault. We were, both, we, were both, we were both just mashing like and whiffing. What were you both trying to do? <laughs> oh my god. Shit just happens, my dude. 
Am I right? Uh, yes, you're right. <laughs> ah! Ah! Was that a faint? Something like that. Oh! No! I get a whiff! I whiffed the throw! Ah, I got punched. No, I got necked. You did the uh, bear claw to my neck. The ant that's an anti-air? Dang. Yeah, that's the anti-air. Kill your friends. Ow, 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 ow. To do that thing more often. <laughs> Kill your friends. Kill three. Ah, nice punish. That was just a jab. That's just jab just beats everything. <laughs> There's this thing I see Maze do where they just do charge, charge slash, charge slash, charge slash, and it's a form of pressure. But I don't know how they, how they manage to do it rapid fire or it's. Oh, I see. So that's how. Okay. I understand now. Oh, that's right. There's a macro for dashing? Uh, there is a macro for dashing, but they like to charge... They like to charge slash, release, and then charge slash, release, charge slash, release. And they do it really fast, so it almost looks like... It almost looks like a Gatling combo. And it, like, people who aren't used to seeing it just start... I think you can punch out of it, but... A lot of people make the mistake of not punching out of it. I don't know. I probably should learn how to do it myself before I try to talk about it. <laughs> if it has to be. Huh? If it has to be. <laughs> Push the stick. You will see what can be done about this. Ah! Playing with the joystick on the table. Kill your friends, kill three. Oh no! No! You just slam her on the ground! <laughs> oh yeah, if that helps to not go too close, I mean, unless you're trying to. I mean, you can. If I'm down, you can't grab me for a while. Yeah. If that's the intent. Well, no, um. 
Uh, I think my problem is I'm not respecting distance correctly. May is the kind of character that makes me want to like get in close, but I'm not. We actually, I see a lot of most May players playing from mid range, like around, not there, but yeah. around here or so. That's correct. They gotta do mid range at the right moment, especially if they're if you're trying to do Oki's MA. Yeah. Like even her pokes are all mid range, like the fucking kick, the insane mm -hmm. kick she has. Yeah. But. As you can see right there, I get too close. It's just a uh, bad habit on my part, I suppose. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Think of bad habits. No! No! Oh my god! I did not mean to RC just then, but it looks like that's what saved me just it then. Saved, it saved <laughs> you. It definitely saved you. <laughs> May is like, I'm gonna take control of the game really quick because my player is garbage and she just purple or sees <laughs> my god someone clip that uh, someone should clip that that's actually kind of funny <laughs> that's it. not only that it was a drift rc i i have a hard time doing drift rcs which sounds weird right because it should just be like rc and uh rc and uh dash i think but or does it have to be dash, or does it just have to be movement? I don't know. It had the dash, yeah. Then do RFC. Ow, ow. Like, like, like I just did. Yeah. And I whiffed a thir three combo, but I didn't have one time. I also apparently have forgotten how to do RCs again, or how to do an offensive RC, or I could do that. Uh, did it too late. So I don't have RC bound. I'm trying to do with just the three button, oh, three attack buttons, and that's has the associated results. I also definitely played a little bit more aggressively with the controller on the desk instead of on my lap. It was suggested to me to play it to get to used to be playing it on my lap instead because they might not have a table if I decide to go to a local. But I don't know, it's just, it feels too casual. I feel like I have to play it on the desk, maybe because I use a keyboard yeah, on my want, desk. You don't, want, you don't want to be rocking when you're, when you're inputting, it's distracting. Yeah, exactly. And not only that, but um, the first time I played with the fight stick on my lap, I kept like holding back on the joystick out of sheer habit. I don't know why I did that. But as a result, there'll be some games where it looks like I just keep jumping backwards, and that's not me intentionally jumping backwards, that's me trying to do something else, and the inputs keep doing it backwards, which got really annoying. And also, with it on the desk, it's a lot more stable, it's the uh, joystick is actually staying in place now. So I'm pushing down on it as opposed to like, you know, trying to hold it in place. Kill your friends. Kill free. Ah. Ow. No! I escaped. Welcome back. Ah! No, I want to escape the corner jail. For once. Let's play. Can Lulz pull off this maneuver, or will they once again get whiffed or whiff it and get get killed? Uh looks like it's gonna be the latter, yep. Ah This is the part where playing keyboards spoiled the shit out of me. I actually have to do circular motions with the stick. I can't just do press two buttons or three buttons. This does make me want to try out a hitbox even more, though. Hopefully they don't, they don't, they don't get disgusted by that. <laughs> uh, who gets disgusted by that? What? Well, it's, you know, it's uh, some people don't like it when people use hitbox because it gives an easy... There's a but trick to make them do easy cross-up defense. Oh. I mean... 
if the uh, tournament's allowed, as far as I'm concerned, that's... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't see the problem. Mm -hmm. Come on, game. Ah, oh, ho, ho, ho. why? Ow. Ah. It's not that one. Come on, it's uh water circle there. Finally, shit, me. I finally pull off one of those intentionally. <laughs> I'm surprised it hit it. Oh, it's because when she activates that in the corner, it actually comes out faster than usual. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, no fucking way! How did you get me with dust just then? You can do, do a sweep and then, then do that. Oh, okay, so it was a sweep. Okay. Because at first I was like, wait, I could have sworn you hit me from low when I was blocking low, but eh. Very yeah, nice. It, it, it was a sweep, then it mixes to the dust. I see. That was my first time trying that. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'll keep going for one more round, set of rounds. Sure. Okay. I'm free the whole night, so. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little tuckered out after this, after this set. No problem. Thanks for stopping by to play. <laughs> oh, no problem. I need some practice and strive anyway. Yeah, I appreciate your, <laughs> appreciate your uh, tenacity to keep going. <laughs> well, like... I'm like... I'm sorry. Meanwhile, I'm like, uh, like, uh, like, I, I'm admitting that, hey, I don't really like this game. Because <laughs> of the mechanics and such. And like... I just couldn't hold ah, it fuck. in anymore after, after, after a whole lot of lobbies. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, I legitimately enjoy Strive. I don't know why, because I've played quite a few number of fighting games over the years. But, um, so, at least for me, I don't feel so bad about losing just because... And part of that is because I have self-esteem issues, so I'm just like, oh, I lost again. What else is new? Um, but, um, at the same time, like... I really feel, I really do feel and believe that if you don't enjoy something, you shouldn't be playing it because you're just hurting yourself, you know? Like, yeah. after, I, sorry, you first. Oh yeah, it's just that I was having that same attitude of, of being confident about it, positive, even if I lose. But after like three hours or so and realizing how much I couldn't really move throughout the gameplay because of all the block blocking, mm -hmm. it felt less fun. Yeah. It's like watching a uh, PowerPoint presentation, basically. Hey, Rifsty, that's how I feel about Melty Blood, which is funny because Melty Blood used to be my f my favorite fighting game for the longest time. But after I played some people who actually knew what they're doing in Melty Blood, I was like, "This is fucking dumb. I'm shit at Melty Blood." <laughs> I did like Tsukihimi though back when, um, which is what Melty Blood, which is the uh, visual novel that Melty Blood's based off of. Oh, okay, yeah, Tsukihimi, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My brother's a big fake Grand Order fan, I tell you that. Ooh. Very nice. I couldn't get into the, uh, I couldn't get into fake Grand Order, but I was basically, t I was a old type movement fan back when they were still an obscure, like, uh, visual novel, um, fantasy visual novel maker. Uh, people, it's kind of funny actually seeing them have the popularity they do now because they used to be really niche. And they used to be associated with hentai back then, but that's only because they only added really, really mild porn scenes into the games. 
to attract sales. It wasn't because they were meant to be hentai. They were never meant to be hentai at all. Not even Fate was. It was just just for views, basically. Just for sales. It's a demographic. <laughs> Say what? It's a demographic. Yeah, a demographic. And in fact, I didn't even... I actually didn't play the actual Melty Blood games for the longest time. Because I discovered Melty Blood through the Mugen fighting game engine. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh shit. Whee! Woo! <laughs> I am back. I got an itch, but I just got done painting your nails. Aww. What did you, what did you, uh, what color did you paint your nails? Watch and be amazed as the May player throws herself back into the corner. <laughs> so, I was kind of surprised that after the event thread, you said you were going to go talk with Sani about learning how to defeat Jacko. So, did you change your mind about continuing to play the game, or...? Oh, I I I'll be competing. Oh, you're you're actually joining a tournament tomorrow? Yeah, why not? Oh, cool. Like, I don't know. I just thought that you were going to uh, drop the game, but I'm not gonna lie. Is I I kind of I kind of conflicted because it's just that I I wanted to transition to other games that I'm more comfortable with if they ever start getting a, a, a following again, like oh. Star did. I see. Like, I mean, I was kind of conflicted because at the same time, I'm like, uh, on the one hand, I'm like, oh, that means I'm gonna have one less person that I'll get to play Strive with. But on the other hand, I was like, if you feel if you're if the game's making you miserable, I don't want you to be miserable, you know? Yeah, and I felt maybe I could. I felt maybe I do have to drop it at some point for my sanity, but uh. If it, if it if it has to be, it'd be more so because I have time for other stuff, like drawing. Oh, yeah. And actual development. Mm -hmm. push the stick I mean, I don't intend to be a champion at this game. Your... Kill your friends. I just wanna... Guilt free. I just wanna study this game, really. Understand it. I see. If, if, I, if I quit it now, I, I'll be failing to understand how people play this seriously. Mm -hmm. And I won't learn when I start developing my own games. You know, that's a very noble reason to keep with the game. Honestly. It's also, you have a perspective that I would, I would hazard to say most players don't have because you're a game developer yourself. Well, in indie, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, Ripsty, you painted your nails blue and black? Good choice. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I was like, oh my god. That was like a homing slash attack or something. <laughs> Did you plan that, or was it just happened to happen, turn out like that? that. <laughs> it just turned out like that. That's cool. <laughs> I was like, I escaped. Oh no! <laughs> it's like that one meme. Uh, I'm a genius. Oh no! And I just dropped I'm that one. Yours. I'm gonna be honest, I want to cry and I don't have a reason, I just feel like it. Oh, believe it or not, that's actually a more common feeling than you might expect. Um, just this sense, this feeling of like, um, feeling sad without any discernible cause. That is, of course, that is unfortunately the symptom of depression, for sure. But, um. And it sucks, but that's, it, that is a thing that happens from time to time for two people, I must admit. Ah! Wait, how did you hit me from there? The hitbox seemed... Uh. I think... Well, I'm at the Blood Rage level 2, so yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Oh, you saw me coming there. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Nice jump away. <laughs> oh, my aeronautics failed me. 
Anyways, yeah, I had to keep studying these games so that I understand I don't make something that people dislike when, oh. when it comes to production. I see, I see. Push the stick that pushes back. You don't want to make something too biased. That makes sense. I'm kind. I do have a cop. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say I have a copy of Zard myself. I just, but I haven't booted it up yet. I'm just kind of um intimidated because Guilty Gear has always had a reputation for being this difficult series of fighting games to get into. And um, well, actually, just the other day I was uh watching Serena, one of Serena's streams. And was it Serena or my? No, it's a it's a Crossy's streams, run a Crossy, and there's we were having a discussion about fighting games and uh, lose that loser pointed out that apparently Zard's an especially difficult fighting game to get into. So now I'm like, well, I wonder, I wonder how if if Strive if Strive, if Strive is supposed to be considered an easier kill to gear, I can't imagine what it must be like to. Try and go from Strive to Zard. <laughs> and I watched the uh, last Cody, who's a huge May player, um, play Zard. It does look. It looks um. How do I say? It looks more technical than Strive by, by far. But obviously, I would need to see for myself, you know. Yeah, it's definitely the harder one, but also I feel like it's the more fair version. You see, for a few characters. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't mind if the game play is difficult, if if, you have, if learning a game is difficult, if it's a matter of, like, if, if because you know fighting games, the uh, the best fighting games are basically the games that are purely a matter of skill and who's better as opposed to taking advantage of bullshit meta or whatever. So if Zard is more fair in that respect, I'd be very interested in seeing what it's like. I've been told that apparently Mei is fairly simple to play as in Zard, which is what I hear about me in Strive 2. So maybe it won't be so bad going to playing Zard, but I don't know. I guess I bring that up because uh, B, if you do decide to play some Zard, I would love to uh, play with you again there, see what it's like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm. I used to play Jam, so it's a... Uh, if, I, if I install it myself, I haven't played it either. Like, I have it because it was cheap. <laughs> Same. Push the stick that pushes back and see. Oh, it just takes the commitment. Yeah. I guess the same could be said of getting good at anything, though. The last time I tried to get good at a game to play on some sort of competitive level was actually Dirty Bomb. But god, trying to... FPS games are just so, so toxic. I say, as I just go full molding mode playing Shatterline last night. To be fair, I had other shit going on last night that I was molding about, and I was just taking it out on Shatterline because I really need to take my aggression out on something. But. I don't even know what Shatterline is. Uh, Shadowline is a FPS, an indie FPS that came out in early access in September. It's by, made by some Ukrainian devs. It's fairly good for what it is so far. It's a nice, it's a interesting combination of a variety of FPS genres, including Destiny 2's uh, PvE modes and also um, some game modes from Counter Strike and a TTK and some gameplay from Call of Duty. There's a lot of arena shooter mechanics in there too, which is the parts that really attracted me to it as a game. Ow, 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 ow. I can't believe I've actually failed to wall break you like twice now in tonight's session. Like, it was just a pixel away. A pixel out of reach. But you're getting better, that's for sure. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with using a fight stick, I suppose. But you could ski. We could probably tell when I'm fucking up my combos because I've tried to, I tried to summon the Orca several times now and it's not working. And it's weird too because believe it or not, I can actually do May specials a lot easier with a fight stick than I ever could with a keyboard and mount with a keyboard. At least in training mode. But when I try to do it in a live environment, I just choke. 
Let me see if I could... Ow. See, there's no time nice. to think. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Well, let's see if we could give it a try anyway. Okay, well, uh, we'll see that. Okay. Wait, um... Let's build up your attention. Wait, what do you want me to do, or...? Let's build up your attention. You know, the, the meter. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, let's do it. Because... <laughs> Basically, it's literally just a half circle motion, so if you get your muscle memory to the point where you can move the stick in that without thinking, that's, I mean, I don't know why, I'm having a brain fart right now, um, let's see, but, try a burst, ah, there we go, so it should be half circle, See? I was able to do it just then. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. So, you have to commit to it, right? Um, yeah. With keyboard, you just have to press to press the buttons. And now, in order to... For the keyboard, in order to tell the game that you're doing it in a circular motion, you do need to press the keys in a certain way. You can't just do... You can't just do WSW. You can't just uh, do DSAD. You have to... Yeah. Do it in such a way that the game reads it as a circle. But, um, what? So it's like, so, yeah, so DSAD is how you would do uh, summon the orca in the keyboard, right? Um, but if you don't let's do try, it. Let's try blocking, let's try blocking it, uh, blocking my first two moves, and then try it out. Like, there. Yeah, um, I was able to do it there, and I found my problem with Fight Stick is that because I'm so used to just tapping, uh, my hand, my, when I try doing combos in this, I also have the same problem where it's like, I just nudge the stick. When you're supposed to, when actually you're supposed to like, actually what I'm supposed to be doing is jamming it to the sides, right? And when I first got the stick, I was doing it really lightly. I was like just doing it a tap because I thought you're supposed to just tap it. And then I forgot who it was who told me this, but they were like, Oh no, lols, you're supposed to be abusing the shit out of your stick. You need to actually be smashing it to the side. Smashing, like, committing to the... Committing to the directions, right? So I think that might be part of my problem, where I'm just not doing it hard enough, more or less. So in order to, like, do the... Wait. Oh, you had to be near me. Oh, shit. Oh well. <laughs> Just, uh, just do some damage. <laughs> oh, you can always just run forward. That builds up tension. Yeah, that's true. Although, it does take a while. Okay, so, basically, in order to do summon the whale, I'm supposed to do like that. And I basically, I'm not sure if you could hear it from my mic, but I was basically just smashing my stick in a circle. Good night, Seal. Thank you so much for coming by. What happened? Honestly, I don't really hear the controller that well. That's a good mic. Oh, thanks. Uh, thank you for the Hydra Redeem. I'll grab that as after this is set. It looks like Ventahack has also stopped up, uh, joined the lobby to play with us. Thank you for joining us, Ventahack. Um, I recently okay, got... I recently got a Rode Pod mic, and then I got a really cheap... Um, I got a really cheap... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit... I can't fucking think of the term. I, I got a really cheap uh, microphone condom, whatever you call that, and stuck it over there. Pop filter? Uh, yeah, a uh, filter. A um, hey. pop filter, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, where'd they go? Um, it says here that they're in the lobby, so they're probably hiding somewhere. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's right here. Okay. Did you want him, did you want to find him first, or head out tonight, or? I'll find him first, then I'll head out. Okay, let me go watch y'all's battle, I suppose. Um, well, for once I learn how to jump down again, uh, give me a second here. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, he's dear. playing, he's playing yeah, Happy Chaos, I'm yeah. Not. Oh yeah, this is a loss for me instantly. Yeah. Well, 
Pentahex kind of, you know how Happy Guys players are. He's pretty much on a similar level to Sheikah, I would say. Hmm. So. I'm surprised. I was kind of I was kind of surprised when I found out Ventahack had decided to become join the VTuber Master Race too. Uh, welcome once again, Ventahack, to the VTuber Master Race. <laughs> they had their he had his debut like a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah, no kidding, right? Congrats to the debut uh, of Ventahack. <laughs> you know, I was always curious, Ventahack. Did you know Shika Shika uh, before you met me, or did you meet him through me? Because I remember, um, I remember the first time we hung out. It was actually during one of these streams. Uh, it had like a had like an open lobby and everything. But I was always curious about that. Like, how many degrees of separation all the people in our little V2 V2 community actually have with each other? If any. Feels like that that sweep should be unsafe, but he follows up with something. Hmm. I don't know. Happy Chaos is kind of a crazy character. I'm not gonna lie. I tried playing Happy Chaos one time, and I just couldn't really get around. I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. It is one thing I like about a lot of anime fighters. The characters don't play like each other. They're all unique in some manner. How about the roll? The Evo 22 winner was a Happy Chaos player, the CEO Taku player, a winner was a Nagoyuki, and the, uh, C the, uh, what's it called? The mix-up winner was a Ramathal, and Rev Major was a Gold Lewis. The only reason I know I have depression and anxiety is because I took an online test made by a doctor and I scored depression and severe anxiety. I mean, depression is also one of those things that... As much as I encourage people to get diagnosed by actual physicians instead of returning to social media and uh, online guides, depression is one of those things that it's fairly obvious if someone has depression or not. Anxiety also is fairly easy to tell, but a little bit more specific, I guess. Now, I also speak from someone that has suffered from both, so I kind of recognize the more common symptoms, but... I do my Duolingo classes while we're waiting for the matches to
Only for once. <laughs> <laughs> I assume I have anxiety because I overthink and at night I have spells where I can only think of the worst and my heart rate increases and I just feel extremely shit mentally, which is, I assume, an anxiety attack. Uh, that's definitely sounds like a, it sound, definitely sounds like one for sure. Pog, you won. It looks like. How did that happen? Congratulations. I'm. Oh, if only it's gotten down stream. <laughs> well, you actually have it in your replay, so. There seems to be some kind of mix up when the jump thing happens. Mm hmm. You like the how I feel right now. I'm gonna give you a head pats, Rifsty. For sometimes for things like that, the best you can do is or at least not the best you can do. Something you can do is to try and focus on literally anything else. Which I guess is part of the reason people watch streamers. Well my VTuber friends actually said that or told me that that's how she got into VTube how how she got into VTubing to begin with. She used to watch uh, the big VTubers like Hololive and uh, V Shoujo all the time, basically to deal with her anxiety, and then she decided to become one. Probs, the best reason as to why I'm as stable as I am is due to the checkups every once in a while. Hope you make it out to some good help. Either way, Strim isn't the place to diagnose this stuff. Let's get back to Strive. Fair enough. Oh, finally. You guys are perfect. Now, leave. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it still took a while for him to get it perfect there, right? I just don't understand. That one, that one, that one, I do not know how, uh, he's got block, he's plus on block on everything. What the hell? Is he? I mean, I can't, I can't operate out of him at all. He's doing these, uh, he's doing these, uh, pokes. Mm-hmm. And what am I supposed to do? I thought you are supposed to be have that plus advantage on far range, but... Uh -huh. Push the stick but push it. close range? That's... So, what is he doing? He's canceling into some kind of revolver thing. Yeah. Like, two of his buttons are just for activating, re activating the revolver, believe it or not. The other buttons are for, like, reloading the revolver and doing that thing he does with the I mean, whole... If, if you want to see why I hate Strive, he is a, a good example of the reason. Uh... It, it's like, poor, the, the, it makes me realize the developers did a poor job with balance. Hmm. Kill your friends, kill free. Because they let this guy roam as a, as a crazy zoner with plus on block everything. That feel when I could have probably just grabbed him out of the air just then. Kick, kick, kick in the in the legs. Actually, now I'm curious. I have a app on my phone that shows you the. Frame data for all the Guilty Gear Strive characters, and I wonder if he is negative on if he is a negative on anything. Negative four of the, the sweeps, and yet he was able to cancel it done twice. I wonder what's going on then. Did... Ah!
Wait, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what did he even do? He tried to run I think he tried to. He purple RC it into me, and then I just dusted him, giving a little new, literal meaning to the to the term dust. Or I'm not entirely sure what that was, but I'll take it. And I did not mean to dodge the green ball of death, but I did manage to do it somehow. Ow. I just got bitch slapped. Ow. Shit. <laughs> not having all those, uh, e-binds is really killing me. Okay, it's at the ready. It's plus three. Plus three. At the ready is plus three? Yeah. That's nuts. Ah. Oh. I see what I was doing. For some reason, I was able to... Did you notice that in the English version of Strive, he makes all of his own sound effects? Who? 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 Uh, Happy Chaos. Does his own sound effects? <laughs> it, he literally makes his own sound effects. Like, he said, he actually says bang, chick, chick, all okay. this thing. It's... Which I never noticed because in the Japanese version, I never really noticed him saying anything that sounds like sound effects. Because, at least from what I... Instead, there's all these other noises which are going on, right? Which sound like the gun. But then you change it to English, and... You don't hear any of those deer-like noises. You hear... Him literally saying, bang, bang. Which is... Very strange. At first I thought it was a mod, honestly. Do, 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 do. This one's gonna be hard to figure out. I definitely need a tutorial from somebody on this guy. Oh, definitely. You could ask Shika. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to, to teach you how to defeat Happy Chaos, given that he plays Happy Chaos himself. Yeah, if he ever is available, that's a good good idea to make an appointment with. Mm -hmm. Push the stick that pushes back. He does friends. reside in the Philippines, Kill so. Um, 13 hours ahead for me, probably uh, 14 hours ahead for you, I think. And his concentration's back up. Very nice. Thank you. 
friends guilt free. Duolingo classes completed. Walk to the wall. Walk into the wall that way. Five right, blocks behind. Kill your friends. Guilt free. Hey Cloudy, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm not playing right now, but we are watching Tear Wolf and uh, Ventahack go at it. They are both VTubers as well. Tear Wolf is a fairly decent Nago, and Ventahack is a disgusting Happy Chaos. Ah, uh, thank you for the uh, uh, heart emoji. Uh, Cloudy, if you play Strive, I will be playing Strive for a little bit longer later tonight, so we do have a room code in the top left if you would like to join us. Kill your friends. Kill free. That's a sick combo. Oh! Chica always did say that the best way to fight a Happy Chaos is to not let them play the game. <laughs> and that move he just did for some reason cancelled his uh, Green Ball of Doom. For whatever reason. Whatever. Oh yeah, that thing. That thing everyone yeah. says to avoid. Yeah, basically it like increases the accuracy of his guns or whatever and other stuff. But I noticed you literally just that uh move you did destroyed it somehow. Chaplain Rex, thank you so much for the follow or not follow. Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. We're just uh playing some Guilty Gear Strive. How are you up what you up to? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, nice. I was as well then DBD. Wait, you were playing Guilty Gear Strive also? Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry DBD went off for you. <laughs> Thanks for coming over or stopping by. Oh, you got a DBD tournament? Wait, do you have a Dead by Daylight tournament tomorrow? Oh, really? Oh, good luck on that. Oh, you have a Guilty Gear Strive tournament tomorrow. That tournament wouldn't happen to be the one in the VFGC, would it? Oh, yes. I didn't realize you were in the, uh, yeah. Uh, the VFGC server is like my second home. Aside from my own server, of course. I didn't know you were in the VFGC. Very pog. I look forward to facing you then, uh, if I survive long enough to join the, to uh, fight you. I mean, uh, I don't know what just happened, but uh, something funky just happened to the uh, to the screen. I uh, see you. See you there, sucker! It's your first tourney. 
Really? Well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, there are some fairly disgusting people in, or fairly disgusting as in, in ability, people in the VFGC server, but they're all a friendly bunch. I'm sure you'll have a good time. I typically like to host a little, uh, pre-get pre-tournament scrims in the uh, voice chats before we actually play. So, if you would like to hang out before the actual tournament, let me know and we can get some games going on. You still want to get smoked immediately? Um, unfortunately I cannot guarantee that that would, might not happen because, uh, like I said, there's a varying degrees of skill in the, in the uh, community. But, you know what, it happens to everyone. Oh, no fucking way! You dodged me grabbing you, what the shit? You'll try, and as a pot main, I know you're in trouble. What? There's nothing wrong with pot. Kill your friends. Free. Oh, well, I will say you are not the only pot main in the tournament. And some of the pot mains are kind of, are kind of sh are sick nasty. Get out of- get- get- get off me! Get off me! Ah, shit. I dropped that. Uh. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with pot. Lol smokes weed, you heard it here first. Hey, did you see uh did you see our Twitch population numbers? For we recently reached a funny number. 420 blaze it. <laughs> you know what? Um Tearwolf, I think some of the things that you're complaining about might actually be due to latency because what the heck is also based in Southeast Asia from rollback <laughs> mm -hmm. at least when I play against uh, Shika I notice that when he plays when he plays uh, what's his face when he plays chip when he does that thing where he does a double jump in the air and then does a uh, cross up the game actually like the game freaking has a jump cut so if you're not if you don't if you're not ready for him to do any of that, it gets really like it gets really um what you call it? Disorienting. Choppy, yeah. And sometimes I notice that when Ventahack really gets into the mix ups, it kinda looks like that almost like the it's almost like it's skipping frames or something. Yeah, I'm not trying to use that to excuse my own lack of skill in this uh, game, but it is something I notice. <laughs> He's into the devil's lettuce. Pot has not been completely legalized in my state, so legally I cannot say anything. <laughs> the election, or there are some elections coming up, are fairly soon. A few day in a few days here, though, so you know that might change after said elections. You are not perfecting me this round or this round, Ventahack. No, you're not. No, you god damn it, I got headbutted. Ah! I just got slammed on the ground. <laughs> Once more. Chaplain, if you're not going to bed tonight, do you want to play a few rounds? I mean the room could say top left. <laughs> no problem, Venta. Always a pleasure. You have a good night. Have a good meal. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Tear Wolf? What do you I want to do? I think I'm good from here. All right. I think I'm good from here. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Uh, thanks again for sure. hanging out. <laughs> oh, no problem. You enjoy your everything, like from your writing to gaming and so forth. Uh, thanks. And I'll see, be sure to see you tomorrow. Um, like I said, we're gonna, I'm going to be uh, running some scrims again before prior to the tournament. So if you want to, um, get some warming up done or get, get some warming up or whatever, feel free to uh, hang out. Okay, that sounds fine. I think I just got a request from another though, or another though, so I'll make room for them. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Have a good night. You too.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, it looks like Chaplain Rex wants to throw down, so we're going to play with Chaplain Rex a little bit first. And then we will decide what to do from then. I might do some writing, I might play something else, who knows. Actually, you know what, Rex, since we're in this, both in the VFGC Discord, would you like to hang out together and stream? Up to you. I mean, it's up to you. I do this all the other time with uh, other fighting game VTubers. The code's in the top left of the stream. It's uh, J's and Juliet, G's and Golf, P's and Papa. Yellow, y is in yellow, S is in Sierra, X is in xylophone. And I'm also chilling in the uh, voice chat for the uh, tournament Discord. So if you want to hang out there, do a mini collab, be my guest. Hey Chaplain Wex, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let me uh, get your reactive PNG up here really quick, and then we'll get to the throwdown. How are you doing tonight? Oh, uh, I'll need to boost. It sounds like I'll probably need to boost your game, your mic a little bit. Here. Which I was like, holy crap. <laughs> uh, there we go, there we go. Alright, let me log into uh, Fuji Tech really quick. I'm gonna grab your reactive PNG and then we'll get going. Cool. So, how long have you been playing Strive? Um, there was a little bit of an off period when uh, Bike It kind of first came out, but pretty close to almost the start of it. Oh, cool. So, like Strive? me. <laughs> yeah, so Strive was like definitely one of the first kind of fighting games, I was like, you know what, I actually want to be good at this, because like, I always play like Dragon Ball Fighters and the it, but I never tried anything, but oh, I was like, I actually want to try, you know, so mm -hmm. that's where I got to. So you're saying you want to strive to be good at strive? Exactly. <laughs> okay, read the question uh, one more time, I can't go back and forth on my bed. Uh, what, I'm sorry, what did you say? Can you read me the room code one more time? Oh, uh, sure. The room code is J's in Juliet, G's in Golf, E is in Papa, Y is in Yellow, S is in Sierra, X is in uh, Xylophone. And it appears that uh, VTuber Plus has crashed once more, so I need to restart that. I wonder why it keeps crashing every time I. That's weird. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let <laughs> me just uh, restore my avatar really quick and we'll get going. Ta da! I live again! <laughs> Necromancy. No. <laughs> Indeed. But yeah, uh, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. I typically. I typically do stuff like this all the time prior to our tournaments. Part of it is because if I just stream the tournaments, it barely lasts like half an hour to an hour. So it's an excuse to pad time, but it's also a great way to meet new, meet other members of the uh, VTuber fighting game scene. So, networking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, having like a little practice arc for like the past few days. Of, like I'll do like a little bit of strive and then I go and do another game just so I'm going to get my turned out. And, uh, I feel I, okay. I, I hope I just don't get like a hundred percent like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, thanks for coming by. Like, you know, <laughs> I at least want to put up a fight a little bit. Now <laughs> yeah, that's a spirit. It's easy to get intimidated in the uh, VTubing fighting game community, but 
I'm sure you'll be fine. You're on floor 10, so you already got that going for you. The highest floor I've ever gotten is floor 8, and that was when I was using keyboard. I have Switching to fight stick has forced me to have to, like, relearn how to play, and I'm still only f seem to be on level 6, on uh, floor 6 level, as a result. Yeah, I just play the next fucking controller, I'll be honest. <laughs> Early to be acting cool. You put your life on the line. Potemkin, please, we're just here for the bell. Oh shit! And I have already been Potemkin busted. Oh, nice RC! <laughs> yeah, you're fairly decent, I would say. Thanks. <laughs> Kill your friends. Kill free. Nice combo. You know. <laughs> Oh, fuck, no! <laughs> Ali, Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, fine. Uh. Oh! <laughs> My god, I just RC'd myself into another Potemkin Buster. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> How even is work? Mm -hmm. My favorite, they just send the people Feel like, you better find out what this is, and then it just, then I put in like the arrow keys of the Potemkin Buster. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what this does, Potemkin Buster. Oh no, super armored. No, I fucked up my RC! Understandable! Uh. Where are all these dolphins coming from? Katsugeki! That reminds me, I keep forgetting to put a soundboard, or to attach soundboard, to attach sound redeems to my channel, so I could put Tatsugeki in there. That way, even if I'm not playing Strive, I could still Tatsugeki. It's just another thing on my to do list, I suppose. Oh, about time, game. Uh, I can't blame the game for my own for my own dirty inputs. I do the same thing with Aegis Reflector. I can never get it right. <laughs> half the time. Is he just Reflector that weird shield thing that goes across the screen? Yeah. Oh. Oh no, he's found out my weakness. Spamming the shit out of uh, air dash or air heavy slash. A recurring problem, as you might guess. Uh oh. Yeah, most of the time when we have issues with Tux. Most of the time when. Fucking, I dropped that as well, and I got thrown on the ground! <laughs> Damn. Usually when we have a problem. When we rarely. We rarely have a problem with toxicity in this community. But on the rare teams that we do, there are almost always new people who naturally don't stick around after for real long after that. I, I had buddies that said, like, you should do this and do that kind of thing, and try this kind of like the first game, I'm like, okay, I at least want to give that a go, because like, I'm not good at Tekken, I just love <laughs> playing Armored King and stuff like that, I'm trying to do like silly grabs and everything, <laughs> but... Strive the only game I feel like, okay, like, I can actually learn what the deal is and stuff like that. <laughs> I and traditionally. I Sorry, what are you saying? No, and then I run to a happy chaos that guns me out. And I'm like, I'm just saying. <laughs> happy chaos is just like the king of maul, a king of making people mauled, more or less. I only 
what I did is I put on, like, you know the I love you kitchen gun kind of thing? Uh huh. I gave him, put a bunch of mods on that, into which it'll play a bunch of that. So, like, he pulls out his gun and goes, bang, bang, bang! <laughs> I noticed that too, that, uh, in the English version of the game, for some reason, he says all of his sound effects, but in the Japanese version, I never noticed that. Well, Keith says hello. Hey, Maxwell. Wait, where are they? Where, where is? Uh oh. Oh, so he's not in. He's not in the game right now. He's uh okay. Tell him I said hi back. He's welcome to uh, play some scrims if he like, so wishes. I believe he also plays pot. I was just like, why hasn't it gone through yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maxwell, I am playing... Uh oh, I don't know if you can hear me. I was gonna message him on Discord real quick. Uh, yeah, he's not in voice chat right now. And I don't see him in the stream, so... And here's one that the most... No, he's popping up on the radio. Hmm. He just needs to be like... Ah! Yeah, uh... When am I ever going to learn that approaching from pots from the air is a death sentence is me? Uh, sometimes I do need to turn off the monkey mode. Ah, fuck! Ow. No, no, get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> Who is not stream? Uh, Maxwell Keith is um, uh, Maxwell Keith is not in the uh, is not in the stream at the moment. I don't think. I wonder if he's gonna be playing uh, Guilty Gears. Ah no! I always see two reactions to Pot online. They either people either. Are complaining about Pot being too weak to play, or complaining that he's too strong. But I guess the same could be said about a lot of characters, right? Oh, that doesn't work! Oh no! They're fucking it up really hard right now. GG! GG, you shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I have to for happy chaos. He goes, oh, Skiller, you thought you were gonna read that? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Chi. Man, I'm so glad I modded the shit out of this fight stick. The div yeah. I don't know how to even describe it, but there is an obvious difference between between Sama parts and the stock parts. Oh my god, stop! No, I don't think I will. Please. No, I don't think. Oh! No, I need a moment. Please stop. <laughs> Camera, man. Hey, hey, I'm just getting, I'm just getting you back for the other, for the, for, for the earlier perfect. Oh shit! <laughs> Funny story about that. So, um, I didn't know for the longest time that Eno was a bad matchup against me. So, it, but every time I fought against me, against Eno players, they always went like full, full hard mode, like. And I never, and I just assumed that they were just really good. But one time after one of these tournaments, um, one of my mods went over to go check out the stream of my opponent, and apparently they were sweating and being like, "Yeah, um, I'm typically," uh, they they apparently were sweating because they had gone super hard mode because apparently May is supposed to Mays are actually supposed to be really good against Enos. Unfortunately, that cannot May being good against Eno cannot work around me being garbage. <laughs> So, you know. Well, I was fighting an Eno earlier, and she was doing that, like, she put a note out, and then, like, she'd do, like, a 50 50 thing on it. Mm hmm. Oh, she needs a meter, thank God. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Oh, no. No, shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, I missed. Nice, though. <laughs> and 
No, I was getting smoked by an Eno earlier. She was doing that thing where she sends out a note that she was mad at you doing like a 50 50 like a lower high or whatever. Mm -hmm. I need to figure out how to beat that. It's, she was just doing that the whole time. It literally was just knowledge check. I'm like, what the hell do I do? Vibe check. Honestly, I thought you were gonna run up with your man grabbing. Vibe check. Yeah, um, even with keyboard, I always had issues doing the uh, command grab, so I really use it if I can help it. Part of the reason why I think I took to learning fight stick or full full force was because I found out that for whatever reason, the inputs on the uh, buttons of my fight stick. Uh, are a lot more responsive than using my keyboard buttons, which is making me wonder if I purchase one of those uh, board, one of those fighting, those uh, fighting game keyboards, like that small. Um, I forgot the name of it. I think it's. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Like a, uh, like a. There's actually a fighting game keyboard, a very small one. It's very cute, but it, I'm wondering if that would be a lot more responsive. Ah, I fucked it up. No! No! I, did it video, sorry. <laughs> I love seeing that animation that I modded in for Potemkin though, where when he does the Divine Potemkin Buster. Where do you put? Um, it basically has the Pillarmen pop up along with their theme song. Oh, dude, same. I got the exact same. Thing. Exactly right. <laughs> I also have it whenever I do like Potemkin Buster or Heavenly Buster. Uh, I have it uh, does the Yu Gi Oh health sound effects. Like <laughs> <laughs> so I'm basically thinking like if I were to get a keyboard that has that is extremely responsive, has where the uh, moves come out a lot of, like with very little, very little like uh, with very little in the way of response time. Could I just play? Could I just play? Go back to playing keyboard again and have the same performance as using a fight stick? Oh, good question. I've always been controller kind of guy for just about like all my life. Mm -hmm. so, like when I play on the PC, like the first person shooter kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Like that's always been my deal. And people are like, "Ooh, you play controller?" I'm like, "Yes," <laughs> and I will <laughs> do so until the game forces you. Yeah, I used to be a console player myself. I quit. Buying consoles around the uh, original Nintendo DS era, and beyond that, I've just been—I almost play everything at KBM nowadays. So trying to play even the original Halo anymore is kind of difficult. But the reason I started playing so many fine games with keyboard was because of Mugen. I got into that. I got hooked on that when I was in high school, and I just played keyboard, played fine games with keyboard ever since. Until recently, of course. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem and the uh, Posture Redeem, Vimboy. Just a second here. Go ahead and do that for you. Yeah. For me, controller's just kind of been most of my life. The only time I actually like stopped is when I had to like play League of Legends or whatever, because like that's impossible. But... Yeah, it's... I'm trying to think... I... Like, fighting games, I'm trying to think of like, like the earliest fighting game I ever done. I think it was, Thank like, you for the Gamer stuff. Pride and Head Pat Redeem. Uh, sorry, what are you saying? No, no, uh, I was saying, I'm trying to think of like, the first kind of fighting game I actually ever did. I think, like, actually, like, tried to get good at it. was like Mortal Kombat 9, I think. Ooh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, because I was just trying to, like, be cooler than the rest of my family, and then nobody <laughs> wanted to play with me. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, I just learned how to play the game. Why is that? Why am I the bad guy? That's kind of my you know what? No matter how many Potem pots Potemkins I play against, I always do that. I don't know what's wrong with my monkey brain where I'm thinking, Hmm, I should now, I will now proceed to air Heavy Slash. Because that totally worked the last several times, right? Yeah, because they won't expect it six times. Yeah, man. They... they, they... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's just... It's so, so many bad habits. Mega Fisto. Mega Fisto. Mega Fisto. I would want to be Mega Fisted. 
<laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Lulzy is my worst habit. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, what a perfect time for an RC. Too bad I'm garbage and cannot pull it off. And I'm about to be divine content combusted again. So yeah, I think you'll be fine in the tournament. No, no, damn it, yep. god damn it. <laughs> to the wall. So scary, he's like, I don't know what you're gonna do. Ah. I don't fight a lot of mace. So I was like, I'm just hoping for the best. <laughs> do you really not fight a lot, fight a lot of mace? No, my biggest, my biggest problems in the game so far that I have trouble with is the bike is for sure. Oh, bikes are always yeah. fun to play against. <laughs> Up to I fucking hate axles. It's just like I can't. Look, if you want to play fighting games, play whatever you want. That's that's gonna be my verdict. I am gonna complain and cry, of course, for a bright fight at the time. But understand that, like, I don't like fighting zoner because that makes me feel like you, you came to a game where you want to throw hands at people from a distance, you know? And I just that's something I can't understand. It. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't really care what people play as either. I just personally find it difficult to play against Axles. Um, I was just saying, I was just kind of basically more or less making a joke, I guess what I'm trying to say. I will say though, um, I feel bad now hearing that I'm your. F you don't fight many me players, so you're fighting against me because I'm probably giving you a very false sense of security right now. You're fine, man. It's the ones I do fight. I just feel like okay, six P is probably the answer here. <laughs> is that a golden <laughs> six P? Is that a balloon coming at me? I'm gonna flick you. And that's like I'm just gonna rock with that. Like compared to my other May senpais, um, I'm actually quite on the low tier. The other main players, especially in the VFGC, are... They are certainly players, I'll just, I'll just uh, get that much. <laughs> you know, when I saw the, the bracket it was first made, I joined in on it like, a little bit early. And I was fighting against somebody who was like a bike in main, I was like, Fuck, please, anybody but that. Oh shit, I'm good. So I'm like, I don't got anything for bike in Wait, do you have to read me like that? You gotta read me like that, bro. I will say this: May players are run the gamut between two main pullers. They're either extremely predictable or they're extremely screwy. To be a good May player, as far as I've seen, is to fuck with people constantly. I will say that I am kind of a bit biased in that regard because I'm a shit poster AI, and fucking with people is kind of like my modus operandi. But you, you know, it. just a warrior. Oh shit! <laughs> Run the back. Very nice, very nice. Destroyed. I used to have like happy chaos as an announcer, but I'm like, I kind of like the classic guy. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing you should also know. That whole thing with me uh, constantly air heavy slashing and getting punished for it. It's kind of a joke in the VFGC that I'm the one who has a problem with abusing that. Almost no, almost none of the other May players do that. They always play, they prefer, play, they prefer playing from the ground or doing a lot of ground game. The only time they go in the air is when it's part of a combo. Me, I think I just got too much in the habit of doing that against weaker players on str in the uh, in the in the in the, in, the, in, the, in, in ranked. Because it's kind of like a, I guess it's sort of like Potemkin's uh, air mega fist. It's basically just a, it's basically a, a basically a filter. Once people figure out. Once people get around that, it just doesn't work anymore. But no, I got the bad habits ingrained in me, so... And on top of that, having to relearn how to play again because I'm learning fight stick, so... 
Um, I am playing... No, I mean like... Uh... It's basically, it's the noob filter, right? It's the uh, one move that it see it will oh, okay, destroy a noob. Don't, no, they don't. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, like, I've been, I've even been told by other people in the VFGC, like, Lols, you need to stop doing that move. It, it's too easy. We, we're just going to keep punishing you if you keep doing that. I'm like, I can't help it. I've abused the shit out of this in the ranked. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder if Lulz is going to do air dash to heavy slash. Oh, he did hit. <laughs> Lulz, stop air dashing to heavy slash. Kill your friends. Kill yeah, see, it's. I wonder if Lulz is going to do some 4D jest maneuver where they give the player a false sense of security and make them think they're going to do an air dash heavy slash only for them to do something completely different. Like that. Nope. Monkey. I'm still running on monkey brain. Um, you know what? I don't know if this counts, but I think like besides push the, stick, like, the push next fighting back. game, the amount of time I put in was like for honor. I know that sounds kind of silly, but that's how I learned about stuff like that's considered safe or armored moves and everything like that. Really? I don't know if that's kind of like a... Yeah, because it has stuff like that in the game where, like, characters have, like, armor attacks where they swing it, this is considered safe, that's like a 50-50 kind of deal, you know? I'm surprised For Honor was even that deep. I had high hopes when, for For Honor when it was brand new, but then I saw people just spamming desperation moves and knocking people off of, you know, bridges and stuff, yeah, and I was like... It where, like, the newest characters are coming out were obviously, like, way overpowered, and... You know, they were trying to include like new mechanics in the game and stuff, which is like, I attempt, I, I respect the attempt. There was an attempt. Like, change up how stuff works. But, when you when you have characters that have a bigger move list than a killer instinct character, Uh, what? A problem. I'm surprised now. I'm like, more surprised than I was before I spoke. Why the fuck do I keep doing... <laughs> The pain will continue until was it? What's that uh, phrase they used to say? Uh, the torture will continue until discipline's achieved or something. I don't know. Do you know the definition of insanity? <laughs> yes. Don't, don't, <laughs> stop it! Ah! <laughs> One thing I noticed, you're not kind of like bursting a lot. Oh, never mind. Okay, just call me. I was like, oh shit, never mind. This <laughs> immediately just tells me to go fuck myself. This <laughs> <laughs> album is like two seconds in. I also apparently have forgotten how to FD. I'm suffering. <laughs> I'm also suffering from a serious problem of I played with a lot of uh, I played with a lot of macro bind, a lot of macro keybinds in keyboard, which because being a keyboard allows you to do that, and I don't have nearly enough buttons on my fight stick to replicate this. So honestly, part of the reason why I'm not bursting as much is because I forget I have a burst button. Because that's one of the few things aside from the dash button I even have bound. Yeah, I usually do like R, B, and X or something like that on my occasion. That's how I usually like force the burst on that. Shit, my elbow's starting to hurt too. Uh, from heavy resting it on my uh, cheers armrest, no less, or most likely. Do you need a break real quick? Hmm? I'll be fine. I just need to get good. And stop uh, redoing the same fucking air to heavy slash. Air dash to heavy slash. Like, honestly, if you want the best practice on what not to do that, go fight Stage 9 Nagaryu. You'll learn pretty fast not to do that <laughs> Oh, I know. Them being able to slash across the entire screen. Good times. Good times head. Good times head by all.
Ow, ow. Ah, fucking flamethrower. Oh, uh, did you? Was that an intentional RC just now? Absolutely not. Okay, I was gonna say, in a different tournament, there was a game I was playing against a pot, and they could have killed me with a Potemkin Buster, but then they decide to purple RC out of their own Potemkin Buster just to continue the matchup, just to style on me, and I was like, fuck, we we were laughing so hard in, ch in the channel that I couldn't even be mad. It was like, yeah, yeah no, this pot is fucking styling. Is, hmm? It's the reaction for me where I think I miss it, but then I, I turns out I did it. That's what my issue is. I'm like, oh, fuck, I whiffed it, but I'm like, oh, shit, I, I, I did it with it. No, you did not whiff it. But I guess it's like a way to bait a burst too. Mm -hmm. Out. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Uh, I failed my RC. What the shit? How did you? What? How, how did you take? Uh, take the. We take the. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was the technique? I've never seen that before. What? <laughs> what was that technique? <laughs> that that was kind of cool. <laughs> how? What does it take to learn this power? It's like no no truck testa. <laughs> Well, you hit it with a little bit of gear. Oh, shit. Oh, yep. That was totally not me uh, failing to do to summon a whale. There we oh. go. Uh, a few seconds too late, whale. But... Whoa, that hit you! Ah, shit. I've been bursted. Bongo's binted! Bongo's binted! My only hope is to defeat you fast oh. enough! Oh, shit! Oh, that was close. Get out of here! Get out of get it, get it, get out of this house. But I, I had the key. You let me have this key. You gave me the code. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have it made you leave your key. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, but I, I will survive. <laughs> Perfect. GG. Ah. Push the stick that pushes. Oh man, this is why I like Strive. This is one of the few fighting games that I feel my blood boiling for all the right boiling, but not out of anger, out of exhilaration. Which is funny because um. I'm a really big, I don't know why, but as much as I love Tekken, as much as I play Tekken over the years, because that's sort of like the Filipino thing to do, play Tekken, losing in Tekken actually hurts. Losing in Strive, it doesn't hurt nearly as much. I don't know why. I mean, it's just the anime, the anime nature. Ah! Ah! It could just be, it might just also be that Tekken is considered like, my professional fighting game, meh, meh, or something, but... Oh, I just like Tekken, because like, it's one of those 2-3D fighters I've played. And I'm just like, this is a broader, like, we're here to gamble and stuff, like, on the loose. Plus, like, one of the games has, like, a fucking game where you can play as a bear, fighting a medium and stuff like that, you know? Very true, or if you're playing one of the earlier games, a fucking Velociraptor, a fucking dinosaur. I know, that's when I saw that. Oh my god, I saw you do it, like, you got the wrong no! Oh shit! Oh god, oh fuck! Uh, I've been belly bombed. Uh, oh. I'm missing right now. Oh, 11 15. <laughs> so, uh, is there any like universal rules that I should know before like the whole tournament thing? I just want to make sure like, I don't do it until Uh, not to my knowledge. Um,. Any rules I could tell you are things that are common sense and you don't need to be told anyway, which is basically, don't be a dick. 
Um, as far as fighting game tournaments are concerned, the VFGC's tournaments are very relaxed. The people are very relaxed as well. You're so sweepy, Rifsty. Uh, do you need to go to sleep soon? It is midnight where I'm at, and I think we're in the same time zone. Kill your friends. Kill free. <laughs> but, um... I, unless she changed it, I'm pretty sure that Strive tournaments are best of five. So that's a that's definitely a thing at the very least. Man, you're saying like matches of five, right? Not like the. Um, it's best of uh, five matches, yes. As opposed to round, as opposed to in-game rounds. Good question. I have to ask that. I have to ask for clarification on that all the time. But I'm fairly sure it's mat. It is matches, not rounds. Um, so, so right now where it says uh, one or whatever, like that's the same like, five of them. Yeah, right now we're, uh, we've played four matches and you won, I lost three and you won one, for example. So like, um, so like best of five matches, each match being two rounds, basically. Okay. I actually have my room currently set up to the tournament requirements, which is why we ended up, why we just ended. But, um, okay, cool. it's one, it's one, I need to go to sleep because I get up at 6.30 for school and get my ears pierced after. Okay, okay, well, will you be my background noise? Of course, you, I'll always be your background noise, Rifsty. You have a very nice night and have a good day at school tomorrow. But, um, as far as other rules, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and drop the PNG you would like to use for a tournament in the Tournament PNG channel. Make sure you sign up on challenge C H A. Yep, so, uh, do that, and um, you see. Uh, the PST. I I mhm. Mm and um, I don't see your name here in the chaplage. Are you invisible right now, or? In like what the server? In dis in Discord. Uh, maybe because I don't have a role. That's probably what the issue is. Okay, because um, if you're signed up for the tournament, you're supposed to have a yellow name right now, and uh, I just noticed in the GGST tournament uh, in the members list, you don't show up anywhere. So um, let me check on your. Uh, let me see what your rules are. Oh yeah, you need. That's why. Um, you need to stop by role request if you haven't yet, and you need to. Request to get the strive roll. So let me ping you there really quick. Okay, okay. Uh, so I just I should just ask for a tournament roll and VTuber roll. I guess. Mm -hmm. Just uh, just ask for a tournament roll and ask for the VTuber roll. You'll be able, you can actually give that to yourself in the extra rules uh, channel. It's all the way at the top Added underneath the important. Yeah. I did. And then once you get the uh, once you get the tourney roll, you, a lot more channels are going to open up to you, and one of those would be tourney PNGs. Just stop by there and drop a PNG, preferably transparent, and so that when so that if you do manage to get to the top eight, um, Serena will use that to add it to the top eight bracket or top eight pictures. Good night, Rifsy. <laughs> Aside from that, um, there's going to be a Trinity rule set channel here as well. Um, it doesn't look like it's been updated yet. It still shows the rules for the previous tournament, I think. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure I'll I will double check, but I'm pretty sure it's a uh, best of five for uh, Guilty Gear. Um, oh, so streaming it. Mm -hmm. I assume like right at the gate to start streaming it, like if that's an okay thing or whatever. Uh, yeah, you're allowed to stream your tournament run. You're allowed to stream. You don't need to start right at the, the tournament starts. I typically host some scrims in. I typically host and stream scrims here in this uh in one of these voice channels prior to your tournament, so that it can basically is a open way for VTubers to meet other VTubers and for myself to hang out with uh members of the community. So. I'll be doing that tomorrow, 
prior to the tournament, since I'm off this whole week, I'll probably start streaming way earlier anyway. And you're more than welcome to pop on by the place to do some warm-ups before then. Uh, yeah, I'll be down for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be at the very tail end of it. My goal is to go to bed here pretty soon so I can like get up to work early and take off early kind of deal. Oh, cool. Cool. Um, beyond that... Uh... Okay, so when I do actually get the roll... I needed to figure out how to actually like outline my PNG because like what, what you're seeing for the Discord thing is, is all I've ever done, so I gotta figure out how to actually edit that so I can have as a transparent kind of deal. I don't know how to do that, but that's something I gotta figure out about that. That's fairly easy to do, don't worry. Um, I don't know what programs you have, but what I typically you do is I use Krita and I use the um, I use the uh, magic tool for basically selecting an outline of the character. And then I press delete, and that deletes basically everything besides the character. And that's a really very that's a really quick and easy way to uh, make a image transparent. I can actually show it to you on stream really quick if you like. I wonder if I could do it on my phone because like I have it on my phone, so if I just do that, and double check. That depends on the program. There might be some programs that allow you to do some really quick and easy editing uh, via your phone. I will say that if you can't get a transparent PNG prior to the tournament, don't worry about it. Um, basically, like I said, it's preferable if it is transparent, just so that it just so that it fits better on like the uh, on the uh, tournament bracket and also on the um, if uh, you get in the top eight and Serena puts your name up there on the announcement thing, it'll look nicer. But otherwise, it's not strictly necessary. You could even you'll even be able to look back through some of the previous PNGs and notice that not everyone has transparent PNGs. If you wanted me to make your avatar transparent, just send it to on the LOL's Discord, and he'll sh and Ace will shoot it back. Yeah, my mod Ace has offered to make you a uh, transparent PNG if you like. <laughs> uh, sure. If if that's not too much of an issue, I'm sorry. I'm just like I know it's like the first time, so like my biggest worry showing up, and you're like, dude, you forgot to bring the red shoes. I'm like, there was something about red shoes, you know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and like I said, they're they're very relaxed in this community. They're not going to fret over stupid shit like that, so... <laughs> uh, no worries. Uh, okay, well, I gotta figure out how to... Is that on your Twitter? Your server? Uh, I can just... We'll just fucking do this, uh, Discord. Um, I will say... Just as a, uh, a really quick, uh, liability, uh, disclaimer. Um... Our Discord is fairly politically incorrect, not in a bad way, mind you, but just in a way that might be a little bit different from other communities in the beating space. Uh, there are rules are also fairly short, but um, just keep an open mind and you fine. Otherwise, uh, welcome to the Lulz Time Discord. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I mean, like, I'm not so hot on politics in the first place, so forgive me if I miss something or if I'm not online. Uh, <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm, what I mean by what I mean by that is that. Uh, there are some opinions expressed in the community that are not evil, but are definitely not like not the common. Is this you a know, cult? this sounds like a no. Cult. It's not the cult. <laughs> That's a cult. Look, I'm I'm <laughs> our community is our community originally came from a 4chan adjacent uh, text board. What I'm trying to say. Okay. No, Ace. Do, no, do not listen to Ace. Ace, Ace is, Ace is, God damn it, Ace. It's a cult <clears throat> But yeah, uh, welcome to the Discord. And thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, November. Trying to make it through every day of November. Jesus, that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're, you're good. <laughs> I have no issues. Alright. Yeah, imagine, okay, imagine being on the internet, am I right? But, uh, no, I, I don't know. I just gotten used to kind of giving that liability just because, or giving that disclaimer just because even amongst my mutuals, um, I toned down a lot of the way I act on purpose, specifically, specifically not to like create any misunderstandings or, uh, you know, step on anyone's toes. Uh, 
But that's just how it is, I guess, uh, when it comes to being a public figure and doing this sort of community stuff, you know what I mean? No, I guess you. And by all means, like, like ver regardless if it's on stream, off stream, whatever, I'm, I'm coming to the point where everyone's so different and whatever that thing is, like what, whatever people believe in, do and such. I, it's, the only things that throw me off half the time is my buddy Steve. Which, since you're a big fighting game guy, I, I want to introduce you two together. He's Ooh. the kind of guy, in no shit, not even 10 seconds into a Valorant lobby, he goes, Hey, do you think, due to the political cli uh, climate, you think Buzzy should be changed to the Gawk? And I'm just like, dude, you can't be saved. <laughs> we just got you. You're all strangers. You awesome. I think I, will, I think I will get along with your friend just fine. <laughs> Enough so. Buzzy. Post Gawk. <laughs> I actually have it a clip of it. It's just me losing my fucking mind. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's I love him to death, but my fucking word, it's <sighs> that's uh oh yeah. Don't forget to give Chaplain Rex the uh, VTuber role as well here. Let me do that actually. Um, can I do that yeah. from here? Really? Unless uh, unless Ace beats me to it. Ah, I won. I win. I pulled it off first. <laughs> yeah, th thank you for inviting me to this. I, I appreciate it. And I'm glad it's just more fighting game friends on this because I get to tell my buddy, yo, I found a bunch of people who want to throw more hands. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's just like, that word? You know? Because I think it might be almost home soon. So, like, if you're still going, I'll just bring him on. You can talk to him about that if you want. But I know, <laughs> I'm going to have to get soon. I wonder. There's something about, I don't know what it is, but there's something about Guilty Gear Strive where every VTuber is getting into Guilty Gear Strive. And this was a thing even before Brisk even before Brisket was released. Brisket? It's so funny with the whole situation with Brisket. Everyone's trying to figure out who, what, where, when, and why. I'm just like, they're happy with themselves, and I'm just happy they're happy with them. Yeah. I'm... That's just how I took it. I'm like, okay, cool. Everyone else is like, no, I'm a... All that stuff was, that stuff was honestly so toxic that it was getting to a point where I didn't even want to play. I was starting to, like, play Strive less and less just because I didn't want to deal with it. Which is funny because I'm a main main, not a, brisk, not a brisket main. I was thinking about playing brisket when, or I was thinking about playing brisket if they ever got released in Strive. But we didn't think that she ever would be because it's, they were such an obscure character. But then they were and it was like, oh, fuck. It's time to play as the femboy. And then all that fucking discourse quote unquote about whether about them being trans and when I came up and I was just like yeah um, I don't want to I don't even want to discuss this anymore risk it can be whatever the hell they want to be I mean they're fictional characters so I don't want I've, I've even told my chat this like y'all can refer to brisket however you so wish I don't want to see any more arguing over this in my community anymore period in the discussion but at the same time, like, if they're a person in real life, I would accept them. I would accept them regardless of how they chose to identify themselves because that's how they choose to identify themselves, right? It's, it doesn't matter to me. I, I don't, you can, you should be whoever you want to be. Now, being that they are a fictional character, I don't think it matters how people choose to refer to them because there's literally not a person that could be offended. If you're being offended on behalf of a fictional character because you think that someone is insulting you by insulting the fictional character, you have problems. Straight up. And I say and I would say that for literally anything else. It doesn't matter if it's it doesn't matter if it's brisket. We have this issue with other characters and other fandoms over things like I mean, I, I've got I've digressed, but you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, no, I, I'm aware. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is like no offense or anything on that. I don't know, watch it be offensive. No, it's, I, I get really confused when, like, when we obviously people put, like, the little tags such as, like, he, him, or she, her. I'm like, okay, I know what to call them, it's fine. But when people want to say, like, this is definitely, like, early on, like, yeah, I'm trans, or, like, I'm, like, I'm so bad with all the terms. That's why I always say, like, hey, partners, and hey, buddies, or hey, bros, what's going on? It's because, like, I use like a universal term because I'm like I don't know what to say I'm sorry so I'm just gonna <laughs> play it safe it's like it's not that I don't care it's just I legitimately don't know and I'm too afraid to say anything I mean honestly that's kind of the safe way to do it some people just they just call people they them by default regardless of 
whether they know the pronouns or not, because I don't think I've ever met anyone who's gotten offended at being called they them, oddly enough. Um, I just do it out of habit now, and I get that a lot too, where some I have occasionally I've had some people that get really anxious around me because they're like, Lols doesn't post their pronouns anywhere. What if I misgendered them by mistake? And I'm just like, I actually accept, I consider myself a non-binary, but you can refer to me whatever pronoun you like, and I'm actually interested to see uh, what people think I am. So far, we're doing a running tally, and it's been 50-50. Half of my moots call or refer to me with she, her, and the other half use he, him, and I'm okay with both. If anything, I intentionally go for androgyny. But that's just me. There's some other non-binaries who also prefer androgyny over everything else. You know, it's just a personal preference, really. I just get confused half the time, and I'm just like, man, <laughs> I gotta figure this out. <laughs> like, I think that's what, something that definitely happened was with that uh, Dead by Daylight collaboration I just did recently. Oh. Because, like, when I was a part of that, it was just like, okay, cool, beat everybody. It was the first time you're in the class, and I was just thinking to myself, like, what if I fuck it up? <laughs> you know? I'm just like, what if I accidentally mispronounce, and then it gets weird, and I'm like, oh, now I'm the asshole. It went I fine, but... I generally find that no, I, I see that. Not yet. Uh, yeah, apparently my my actual pronouns are horne. I cannot disagree, unfortunately. <laughs> However, I have chosen. I have made the executive decision to attempt No Nut November this month, so my pronouns cannot be horne. Or I guess they would be more accurate now, wouldn't they? Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> no, wouldn't you are technically more horny because you have not. Yeah, yeah. We have not do yeah. we have not done the things that we have to dance around because of Twitch terms of service, but um, <laughs> you do the business. Yeah, the business. <clears throat> nice. But um, <laughs> uh, damn. um, I generally find that most people are actually fairly relaxed about stuff like that. There are some people that are obviously more on edge than others about things like pronouns. And it's just, it's all down to communication. There are some people that they're assholes and they're gonna cause drama over the littlest of things, no matter how respectful you are. And there's other people that just, it's, these things just come down to misunderstandings. And after you have a short but mature discussion on what led to the misunderstanding, it should be, should be all, all water and under the bridge. For everyone else, there's a beautiful thing called the block button. <laughs> I used to. I used to not use the block button all that often because I used to think that, oh, it's just a cop-out. But then I talked to a lot of other VTubers about it and they were like, no, it may seem bad, but you should actually use the block button more more liberally just because it doesn't just block people. It removes them from, it, it makes you invisible to them so that they don't see your content and it reduces the chances of them causing a shitstorm over something you may have said or done that they disagree with for some weird reason, so it's like, you know, whatever you can do to reduce misunderstandings and to reduce drama and to continue keeping your brand free of pointless bickering. As if we don't have enough of that in the VTuber community anyway, right? I oh, yeah, know every time I look away it's like, oh by the way, and I'm just like, oh come on! <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of I digressed there a bit. Um, shall we continue the, uh, stomping? If you still want to play, I'm down for a little bit more. You got me for at most 20-ish minutes. <laughs> I just realized that my controller appears to have... Oh, wait. Did my controller run out of battery? Oh, shit. Good thing that I have a wired... To Good thing this can be wired, then. All right. Be right back. I'm gonna go to a connect my PC. Uh, I'm gonna hey, hard connect my PC. Hmm? Say what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, be right back. Okay. While he's gone, everyone typed SeaWorld did nothing wrong. I'm just kidding. There's so many things that happen at SeaWorld. I hope everyone else is doing okay. Thank you for having me on here and being patient with me. I really appreciate it. Especially helping me out with the whole transparent PNG thing. It's awfully kind. I not expect any of that, I'll be honest. Yeah. 
don't know if it's actually... <laughs> Don't actually stand that. It's not great. Backcheck is just due to the plane. There were so many things that happened at SeaWorld that are not okay. The only reason I know of all that crazy stuff that happened at that place is because when I went to a place where I learned how to work on planes, the guy rather put that documentary on of why SeaWorld is an actual evil place. I'm just like, why are we... What are we learning here? This is a plane. This is... This is SeaWorld. I'm back. What did I miss? Oh, we were talking about how SeaWorld did nothing wrong. SeaWorld did nothing wrong? I thought I did everything wrong. Uh, no, no, it totally did. <laughs> Dude, I, I went to the school for like an AP license. In short, like a work on plane. Hmm? And... Instead of like actually teaching us one day, he put on a documentary of all the evil shit SeaWorld did. What the fuck? I know, right? And That's just weird. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, don't get me wrong, it was it had a lot of information, but it was just like, why the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I went to school and learned that the fucking place I like to see the fish is evil, Push I guess. Kill your friends. Hold on a second. Is it not working? Uh, one moment. What the shit? My keybinds are different. Do you want to end this real quick and. Why am I key. You. That was really weird. I just. I, I, turn, I turn off. I turn off Zen put. And turn it back on, and now everything is back to how it should. Okay, that was really fucking weird, but at least it's back to normal. All right, shall we continue? Mm -hmm. Here, like, just... yeah. Now, Give suppose me up a little bit, and make it even. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. No, go ahead, make it. Yeah, just punch my shit. It's fine. I'm just punching your bare metal chest. All right, all right, all right let's go. Ow! Ah! Okay, now supposedly there is some latency between using wired mode on this stick and using hardwired stick, hardwired mode, but I'm not sure how much of it. Supposedly it's like almost negligible. But we're gonna find out if I do any better playing wired mode than I do. Did you just mi you just tried to grab me, but for whatever reason it didn't connect? Interesting. Oh, oh I read RC, but I still fucked it up. Rip. No! The vine pits are busted. Me I think. Oh, totally oh yeah, that would totally would kill it. You got. I got wall broken. Oh shit! We should have taken the there. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? Now, right? I thought your controllers were still messed up. Yeah, I'm good. I'm totally good. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Up oh, shit. I'm trying to figure out what to do, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing either. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. Uh, I, every time I see your armbands, I can't help but think that it says simp on it. Yeah, not everyone does that. Just even a mod that just makes it say simp. Simp. Yeah, you're like gal challenge that way. Ah! You interrupted my you interrupted my dolphin party. Where are you going, buddy? What's going on? No! Damn it! Ah, I tried to summon the orca, but as usual, my inputs are unclean. You 
grabbed me in the middle of a heavy. Oh wait, yeah, my hitboxes. Uh, she pretty much has hitbox. There are hitboxes on her all of her anchor moves except for up dust. Like all of them, even that one. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. The rail, please. Up. Oh. No! I wanna see the pillar men. The pillar men. Wait, that did not kill? No! Yeah, I don't expect the flamethrower of doom. Nope. 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 Shit. 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 Ah. Shit. Ow. 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 Like yeah, which like you... I finally get it out and it fails. Yeah, I mean, like, so here's another thing about me players: they really like being or they really like surprising people with that whale. I would do it more often if I wasn't trash and could not pull it out consistently while in a live battle. Yeah, I, I feel you, man. It's the best way how I kind of learned it is just throw yourself in training and then just spam the shit out of it. It's how I almost got the car up with Tenkin Buster, but I was starting to hurt my hands on it. Kill your friends. Yeah, same. Like, nope. Yeah, I was trying to do it there. <laughs> nope. Ow. Also, another thing you should watch out for: really good mate players will also do a lot. Will do a lot of pressure using uh for using charge slash. And there's a way to do there's a way to do charge slash player charge slash. A uh, pressure where it's just they do charge slash, you block, they do charge slash again, and they just keep doing it repeatedly because you can do it repeatedly. If I wasn't trash, I would show you what I mean by this. But it's the sort of thing that's really unnerving. And it's possible to like punch out of it or to get out of it, but most people don't think to do that because it's very intimidating. It's fucking scary, is what it is. I'll do it. Nope, nope, nope. Get away from me! Get away from me! Ah! <laughs> Gotta hit If you have wanted to see how the reactor PNG will look, Lulz can load it up. PNG and Weeb Trash, basically the same as what you have, just transparent. <laughs> uh, I'm reading what Aislinn said regarding your PNG that they just finished. Oh, very nice air combo. combo. They've executed a beautiful face plant. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Hmm? Push the stick yeah, that pushes. Sort of that means I can actually use that for Kill future events too. I appreciate that. Eh? Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
Get Tatsugeki, nerd. Don't. Don't. It's not. Get Tatsugeki Rift, nerd. That's another thing you should watch out for. Um, really good mate players can talk can will will intentionally whiff the Tatsugeki to create an opening for themselves. It's kind of sick, actually. There's a lot of combo strings that start with that. Because they changed the maze Tatsugeki to uh, fly farther depending on how long you actually hold down the uh, charge button. Not the charge button, but hold down the button. Allowing for moves like that. I remember the earlier days of the maze. And then they made it spookier by making you do less damage, which means you can just spam it more. Mm -hmm. Ah, bitch! You bitch slapped my dolphin. How dare you? I don't know why you did. Oh shit! Oh. Rip. See what I mean? You were able to punch my anchor just then. I don't know why. Like a bad habit of mine is I try using Mega Fist like an anti-air. Hmm. For like if they jumped, I'll throw a Mega Fist. I'm like, that's not how that works. Get out of my head. <laughs> Get out of my head, man! Don't get out of my head! <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, oh, it's only 10.30? That's probably almost 11. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Uh, Midnight of Mayan. Kill your friends. Nope. Oh, nope. Yes. Oh. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Ah, shit. Punished for my hubris. God damn it. Super armor. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. If you don't change it up, I'm not going to change it up. Kill your friends. He says as he gets slapped down once more. No, 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 I don't know what that was, but it was unpleasant. Oh. Rip. Push the stick. Okay. I hear the answers are real funny. Oh my god. Ah! I made it. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> Rip! <laughs> I did not mean Rip! Oh, I got decommissioned. Steamed clams. Ah, lulls. Why do you keep doing the? <laughs> I don't know. 
sub monk subconscious monkey brain. I have no idea why I do that. Every time after time. Oh my god. Just look at the flex on this motherfucker. <laughs> I know a really mean thing where, like, after you grab them and right before you take off, you roma cancel it, you watch yourself up and just drop the other person. It's really bad about it. Mean. <laughs> get, get punched, nerd! <laughs> oh, thanks for the RC, by the way. No! You grabbed me, fuck! <laughs> Damn, this is... hurt my hands. Ow. Don't hurt your hands. <laughs> Just crack the crap out of me. Oh, my favorite thing to tell people sometimes... Hmm? Is that when I play games, I'm actually standing up. And I don't know why people find that strange. You're playing. You're playing standing up. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Are you using a gamepad? Who's this? Uh, I'm using a controller. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sup? 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 I just came here because I got <laughs> free tickets to see more, man! The dolphins are all right. God, my <laughs> fucking owls, oh god. Damn, I wish I could play a I wish I could play a dead level all the time. Oh wait! Oh shit, super armored. Ow! Oh. Oh, I failed that burst. When I failed my Roman cancel, that's supposed to be like an air grab, and that's like safe. Oh, nice burst. Apparently I cannot do a beach ball from the left side, from the right side. That's bad. You want to practice there real quick? Yeah, sure. There we go. It's like... Man, I'm just thinking about it too hard. There we go. Okay. Good. Oh, I see, I see a lot of people switch are changing out the uh, gates and their fight sticks with octag octagon gates as opposed to square ones because it makes it easier to pull off adokens and the like. The only problem is it makes it harder to do z move. Z moves when you have that kind of gate, so it's like you gotta pick and choose. All these things all have differences to them. I'm getting my face shot in. No, not the butt bounce! The butt reset? Mm hmm. Out with my bones. <laughs> Oh my god, I saw it. I felt it. I actually felt it. Ah! <laughs> no, let me command grab you. Oh shit. Oh, you can do that. Okay. Oh shit. I could have gone I could have gone out of that and I'm bad, so I didn't. Not like it was me fucking up my input to grab and do Ooh. I could have been bad. Ow, shit. You defeated my mega. You defeated my dolphins with your mega fists. Apparently. Oh. Oh, shit. I got backhanded. I'm surprised I was just out of range on that. Damn. Push the stick. 
Kill your friends. Guilt free. Nope. Oh shit. No. Damn it. To seal, you're supposed to cover the president. <laughs> Kill your friends. Take a shot. We did it again. Why did we do this? Ah, shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Ew, fuck, I could have gotten another hit there, but nope. Ah, shit. I don't know what the hell I hit on that one. Was it your anchor? I don't know, honestly. I was trying to throw out a Tatsugeki, and I threw out decidedly not a Tatsugeki. Does the dolphin's hit back up here before the universe? Is that what happened? You can punch a dolphin, so... Straight up uppercuts a dolphin. Mm -hmm. Don't run on your friend, is that what you say before a command draft? <laughs> but it's not a no. <laughs> Push this. Kill your friends. Kill free. Did you just? You did. No, get out of my way! <laughs> I will do this if I fucking will. Nothing can stop me. I just wasted my RC. Beautiful. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> right, no! Right. What the hell killed me? That just is 200% on you, dude. Rip. <laughs> I was hoping... I. I had to kill you quicker, quicker. It was not successful. Oh shit. I don't know why I bursted just then. Bongo's yeah, binted. Okay. Damn it, I almost escaped. What the fuck? No! Oh, my anchor touched it, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> my anchor is my lifeline. I actually touched it. What? No! Shit! FT? What even is FT? I guess I was stunned. I couldn't FT from there. Yeah, uh, faultless defense, the basically the green, sh the green shield. Oh. Like our buddy's like, oh my god, you six D? I'm like, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. And I only know it because every time I get him with it, goes like six D. I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that must be the six D. <laughs> the forward punch. Kill your friends. Kill three. Don't worry, I had to. I only recently learned the uh, fighting game lingo. No, super armored. I'm dead. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You know what you want? You want it. You know you want it. Oh no, shit. He actually challenged me. <laughs> oh. Anti your mega fist. Mega fisted. God, I wish I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Push the stick that pushes back. <laughs> Kill your friends. Eat dolphin. 
Oh shit. No. Oh my god, bursting. Shit, really? <laughs> Sorry. My god. <laughs> Once it more. Mm -hmm. I got a stupid young sort of thing for something that exciting. I got the cyberpunk meme and then I got a bird up. Really? Come on! I can't believe it took me that long just to throw out a up dolphin. Jesus Christ. I'm trash. Will it kill? Oh, I got... Looks like the answer is yes. I have not. I have not. Oh, dude, you need to see that. Hmm. Literally, it starts off with Potemkin with full bar, and then he heavens chip, and he goes, All right, chat. Will so it kill? kill? And I'm not going to spoil it for you. <laughs> but there, I just want to let you know, there was no. Uh, What's that danger gig? There's no risk. There's no risk? No risk. So he supers him, and there's no risk. Push the stick. Kill your friends. Kill free. That's like part of the script. It's like an intro battle. You do that sort of Kill your friends. Kill free. Indeed it is. Oh yeah, give me your mega fists. Someone has to. Oh shit. Oh, why did I hit you? Roasted dolphin. Tonight. Mm, seafood. <laughs> Kill your friends. Kill free. Oh what? 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 How did that like hit? Oh my god. I really want to show you the video now, how ridiculous <laughs> it is. I'll, I'll send a link to you after this uh, set. Sure. Kill your friends. That was so Kill free. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to fly. What? I don't get how that dust is hitting me. I don't know, man. It's very kind of, it's kind of sus. I don't know, I saw you like, frame under like, I thought you thought I was gonna like, take it up, but I didn't see it either. Aceland says, I will mega fist you. Do what you won't. <laughs> Kill your friends. <laughs> you just say, bet, they okay, they've reached the screen. Like, holy shit. Bet. Ah! No bully! No bully! I've been bullied. <laughs> Kill your friends. Kill three. Oh fuck, that's an acre. Ow.
Oh! Once again. You white, I won't. Sad face. Dear God, okay we've been. It to you? Hmm? Are you okay with me DMing it to you? Yeah, I'm fine. You could also post it in LOL's posting if you like. Up to you. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in LOL's posting. Is it LOL's memes? Is that where I should put it? Uh, LOL's posting under chat. Underneath your chat. Oh, there it is. Hmm? I thought it was going there. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> it puts it right at the floor, but that. Spooky fighting game combos. Will it kill? <laughs> <laughs> that is, but I saw that. That was a moment. Alrighty then, Tarun. Easy peasy. You guys should all know, right? This is this should be easy. Yeah, I think it's hundred percent. Everybody votes that one. Really Chip, full life, like, no risk. Thank you, Chat knows a lot about Guilty Gear. You guys are all experts. It. Like when the <laughs> game first came out, I was like, guys, Nago's a pretty good character. That everybody was like, no. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I was thinking Ace for helping out with the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that question for you, Lols, will it kill? Hmm. Let's see if it will kill. No, he's actually incredibly weak. Maybe the worst character to ever exist in a fighting game. I trust you guys. It should be 100% of the vote. Like... What the fuck is this? 59% of the vote is yes. 41% of the vote is no. How are you guys? 59% of the well, votes let's see, let's see. are should be right, I bet. Chip, he, he was okay for like three seconds before this. No risk. What an a This animation is so good, by the way. Pretty sure it's going to kill. Crack. Oh, uh, no. It did not kill. Though. Close enough, though. Three fourths. Son, he fucking died. About? Okay, when I watched this clip, I <laughs> was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, it happened. Like, potent That does happen. That's the main reason why they say fighting, uh, chips fighting against Potemkins are basically the one of the most stressful matchups for both players. Yeah, because it's like, Chip, it's like, god damn, I gotta catch this fly, but as soon as you get your hands on his throat, it's like, oh god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Been streaming for a good five hours tonight. Do you want to play one more for the road, and we'll meet up again tomorrow? You know what? Sure. All right. We'll run it back. <laughs> the audience. All right, chat. <laughs> I got one simple question. Will it kill? God, that that blew my mind the first time I saw it. Cause I'm like, God, can you imagine trying to pull that off in a tournament? Push the stick that pushes back. And feel your pain. And here's one that the most unbelievable law that says, kill your friends, feel free. I'm not gonna cry. You're gonna cry. Kill your friends, feel free. Shit. Did you just go from one special to another? Uh, okay. Huh. It looked like you were going to do that gun grabbing thing, but then you did a Pazemkin Buster instead. Which was interesting.
I thought you were gonna like super whale me. I was. I was trying to do it at least three or four times, but as usual, none of the inputs were registered. Like, none of them. Okay, go search me real quick and I want you to practice that real quick. See if you get first try. Which is cool. I gotta do this, so I need, I need to lab this, or not really. It is labbing, but it's more like actually getting muscle memory. That's kind of what happens when you don't... Wait a minute. One second. That's just my imagination. For a moment there, I thought my stick was getting uh, loose again. Oh, no. Okay, so you ready? See, that was quite obvious. I shouldn't be jumping like that. It should be... It should be one... Yeah. Uh, inputs just fucking suck. Uh, wait. So I should be able to do that. And I should be able to do... But I, I guess when you're like stressed out, um, it's going to fail without muscle, without proper muscle memory. It's just how that's just how it is, really. Good. Yep. Let's go finish it. Oh, what a waste. What in the world was that? I've never seen a flick like create a projectile oh. like that. Well, you talking about the, like, well, the rocket thing? Yeah, there was like a shockwave thing that you just fired at me. It was interesting. Oh yeah, he does that. If he hits the projectile, he sends it back to his head. I have never seen that before. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of cool. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hit it again. I think this is probably the reason why I almost never see this move. I don't know if it, uh, why isn't it working? I don't know. It probably has to be like pixel perfect or something. I just... One second. Oh my god, I better not lose the ability to fucking do my basic zone. Come on, game. Come on, hands. Please. Okay, I, I actually have to... There. There, okay. Ah, oh well. Let's keep playing. We got 15 okay. seconds. Let's go, let's go! <laughs> let's go, let's go! 15, 7! Holy shit! Ah, fuck! Oh, you just won. My god, at the last second. Laugh at his face! <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Gabriel, the children beat my ass. The Japanese protected their fine. They're like, whoa! 
like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, like some superhuman stuff. It's fine. Mm -hmm. If you didn't kill the gear lore, you would know that's okay. Mm -hmm. Ow, shit. Get you, get bursted. Oh, shit. I'm being bursted. Bongo's vinted. Ah, grabbed. Damn it. <laughs> I have one simple question, chat. Will it kill? Looks at the Kill your friends. Kill free. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, once again, I have thrown myself into the into the uh, into the baby jail. It's apparent that the j that the corner jails are my natural habitat, as is air air dash air dash slash. What? Are you trying to bait me? Is that is that what we're doing today? Looks like it's working. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. I do need to find a way around that Asia Shield thing, though. Uh, someone Mr. Yamato, maybe? Kill your friends. Or... I mean, it's not going to break the shield. You're probably going to block that, and I'm still going to get hit eventually. I'm just bad at ju as much as I love as much as I jump in this game. I actually cannot into super jump apparently, like ever. Hey, Winter, welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, we're actually going to be ending Strive now. <laughs> I've been streaming for a good five plus hours. But uh, Chaplain Rex, thank you very much for coming to tonight's stream to play some Strive. Uh, unfortunately, I could not get. Unfortunately, I did not give you much help against actually good pl May players. So oh, I don't know how much of this can be useful to you anyway. But <laughs> no, it's no, it's besides the practice. You introduced me to all your folks, and they helped me out, and it means a lot. Oh, well, I'm glad that you brought yourself. Uh, once again, like I said, I'll be running uh, pre-tournament scrims, or just for uh, getting to meet other people in the VTubing fighter in VTuber fighting game community, and also uh, to fuck around. That's that's it's more it's more to like fuck around and also pad time so that we don't just end up streaming half an hour long tourney runs, which end with zero two. <laughs> um, yeah, no. uh, I had Pepper actually invite me. He's like, "Hey, if you get done with your tournament, it's just like come hang out with us." I was like, "Okay." I'm like, "I don't know how long it's gonna go. I could probably get smoked immediately, so I'll probably be there pretty soon." <laughs> I think you're fairly decent enough to at least go one and two. <clears throat> yeah, like I'll get one dub. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it took me like eight months to get good enough to get one and two. Not gonna lie, but um, at the same time, it's also a bit of RNG. I could look. Uh, I could actually just take a look at the um and no nope, you know no never mind I'm not going to if I feel like if I tell you who the really good players are server oh no it I might intimidate it might give you intimidation Shimada. so hmm? I was I was gonna fight somebody called Shimada Tiger I looked on Twitch just like yeah I'm a biking player blah, blah. I was like fuck but I'm not <laughs> fighting that person now I guess I'm a secondary bracket now uh let's I take a look at challenge the, yeah. like, well they're going to. They're going to actually, uh, Serena's going to scramble this 
move on tournament day, so it's probably kind of pointless to look at it right now. But um, let's see anyway who we got. Oh yeah, I see you. You're like two brackets below me. Hello. Oh. Uh. Your wolf is going. You know. You're going to fight either Sunny or Zero Dot Dojo. Mmm. <laughs> Sunny What's plays up? Jacko. Zeros plays uh, Brisket. So pick your poison. Oh man, both of those are going to kick my ass. All right. And uh, not to scare you or anything, but both of these players are fairly good. They're not yeah, Inferno yeah. Chim good, but they're fairly good. I think Zero, I think they both at least have gone to the top eight at least once. Yeah. Well, like I said, at least I want to get one win in. That's my mm -hmm. whole goal. Well, also, like I said, chances are you're not going to fight either of these people because she is going to scramble them on tourney day, but that's what those you are Can like. Can you imagine if we fight each other at the start tomorrow? Oh, yeah, it'll be an easy way. It'll be like a for easy first one for you anyway. <laughs> I mean, come on, don't do me like that. But um, it has happened before where we've accidentally, or a bunch of us have accidentally fought our friends first. Yeah, it's just the nature of uh, RNG in these tournaments. And also, um, it usually most of the people come in to uh, sign up literally on the day of. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have at least 30 to 40 people tomorrow. Usually how it goes for Strive. Strive's pretty popular. Still pretty popular. I'm surprised that Slayer hasn't come out yet. But when Slayer comes back, you can bet that a bunch of new people are going to show up in the YouTube fighting game community to play in the tournament just as Slayer. It's like how... Hundreds of people came to play brisket. But, um, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome. I didn't realize you were in the server already. I wonder, did you just join, or? Oh, you're talking about the Discord one? Yeah, the Discord. Uh, yeah, I was telling your chat that it popped up. I was like, okay. So I just used that to get in. Oh, is that just like today or something, or? Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw it on the Today thing. It's... Right when you, right when you did the exclamation. Or are you talking about the fighting game or yours? I'm sorry. Uh, no, the fighting game community. I've been in it for a while. I just haven't oh. done anything because there's a bunch of XR stuff that I've seen a lot recently. And then when I saw there was a strive, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna actually do something about it. So I did. Oh, okay. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna do the whole welcome to the such and such community spiel thing, but it seems like you've been around for a while. I, I just been an observer. I haven't done much. I'll be honest, oh. I just kind of seen all the stuff go down. Like, I haven't seen any of the tournaments or anything either. I just had it on the side. I was like, I'm going to wait till a Strive tournament comes up. And then when it did, I just jumped on it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, Chaplin, thank you once again for the raid. Thanks for the games. I will... Have a good night. Yeah, you too, partner. Let Until me... next time, Thank you. Yep. Till next time. Oh, we're going to go ahead and find someone to raid ourselves. Oh, that's not. Let's see who's online, actually. For... We got here. Shut up. Venter Dreiger, 6 playing Ape Sex Legend. Apes. <laughs> uh, Ritsa, <laughs> Signalus, Showdown. Ah, fuck it. Go say hi to Maxwell. See what he's up to. He's playing WWE. Looks. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's gonna play in the Strive tournament. Plays pot. Looks like he's doing a collab too with uh someone. Oh yeah, he's making a VTuber fighting thing going on. What, fucking nothing. Oh, he's doing so, a yeah, VTuber yeah, fighting thing. I'm, I'm, That's so cool. He's making a bunch of VTubers that like you're like, oh yeah, just put hey, me in the game or whatever like that. He's making what a bunch of them that are gonna do like a thirty man match kind of deal. Oh, a few other people are doing that are using this game to do that. It's really fun oh, to watch. Hmm. I actually put it in myself too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pretty much just did like, yeah, just put me in there, but just use everything that's related to Undertaker. <laughs> Very pog. All right, chat, we're going to do and do some variation of guilty raid. Use the emoji of your choice if you do not have access to the uh, lulz wiggle. Go ahead and hop on over and scare the absolute shit out of Maxwell. 
Okay, I'll give you guys a few seconds here to make your uh, to make your raid messages and then get started. Feels like a bunch of face happy faces. My own there we go. Nothing but happy face. <laughs> all happy face. All happy face all the time. Oh, by the way, Chaplin, I want to let you know that I set aside this Saturday for um, nothing but VTuber collabs. I'm going to be going out or finishing my uh, first year anniversary week. Uh, first year anniversary week with a bang. We're doing a. I'm going to stream from eight in the morning on Saturday to as long as possible, and I'm going to try and do the longest stream I've done ever since becoming a VTuber. My max, my uh. Longest so far has been six hours. We're gonna try and go for eight, maybe twelve, depending on how much fatigue, how fatigue I am. Oh, we're about to raid. Here we go. Five, four, three, <laughs> yeah. okay, two, one. Oh yeah, we're in a Discord call. I don't know why we're turning this like it's live. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it is live. So. Well, I bet. Like, yeah. Woo! I'm being raided. Guilty raid. <clears throat> you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Last time with a party of seven. Oh, new people. New people in chat. Oh, fucking shit. Give me a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up, Lil's Time? It's awesome to have you. Um, Everyone who's chatting for the first time, what's up? Uh, my yeah, name I'll, is Max I'll definitely Keith. pop in on Saturday. Saturday. I know I got like a D&D &D thing. Like, I got a pay attention to for the first time. Tuber. It's gonna be like a history field trip kind of deal. But after that, uh, thank you for joining yeah, I'll be down there. What is Watch, up, observe, or hang out, or whatever you want to do. I don't care. I'm done. Uh, no problem. Lice, I'll be streaming the whole day, so just come by whenever you feel. With Chaplin, right? Well, yeah. And, uh, you know, do a little check in, make sure you can do the hydrate and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I did see. Fuck yeah. Helping people learn the game. I was gonna join the tourney, but, uh, eh. He just uh -huh. said he wasn't join. I feel it. Sag. Rip. Well, it's, it's for the best. You shouldn't join these things unless you're really committed to it anyway. Otherwise, you can just feel miserable. I had a fun fucking time, and I hope all your viewers had a fun time. That's right. awesome. Thank time you to end the stream. Me a... See you later, Chaplin. <laughs> Holy shit. Later, partner. Stopping Thank you for two seconds. No problem. Anytime. Where's my offline button? There. Fuck, I was not ready to get rated. <laughs> Where's the stop stream button? <laughs> Thank you. Right now, we are just... Uh...